Hey now. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Hey to the now. We are live. Hey now. Okay, let's get the word out. We are live. Always exciting to play some Dragon Quest. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Rock and roll, baby. Freaking tap dance music for uh, Melody in the Ancient Town. It's like tap dance remix of this town theme from Dragon Quest V. Huh? <laughs> It just do be like that. I came in here a little while ago with an accusatory glare at Gips, and I said, Is it necessary to be that cute? And he just starts wigging his tail. And, <laughs> Is it really necessary? Aren't you getting a little, like, uh, overboard there, you know? Oh, It's a headache kind of day. I'll tell you what. Cuteness is absolutely necessary. Yeah, but sometimes he goes overboard with the cuteness. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'll come in and he'll be in this like perfect pose like <laughs> Like he he practices like when I'm in the bathroom or whatever, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna look like this. No wait, no wait, not like more like this. You get a good reaction out of him. <laughs> oh A world music. Gotta make this a little louder. I think Dragon Quest V is an incredible game at setting mood. You know, there's not many games on Super Famicom that could give you a sort of a forlorn allergy day. Oof, that was a rough. Sort of a forlorn vibe. Like uh, Final Fantasy VI did it pretty well. Because Final Fantasy VI had lots of, like, despair in it. But then again, like, I... I don't know. My, my experience of playing through Final Fantasy VI has been more Game Boy Advance, you know, pixel remaster, you know. Uh, I did play the Super Nintendo version, and I wasn't, like, terribly into the translation, you know? Um, but yeah, there's not many games... But, but through the music, though, it gives you that forlorn vibe, you know? Not many... Not many other games could do that. Uh, there's certain certain points in Chrono Trigger. And, uh... I'm trying to think. Is there any other... 
Oh, you know what? You know what game actually, and it's it's interesting because it barely had a story at all, right? It barely had a story at all, but had a soundtrack that would give you that that forlorn vibe. Super Metroid, I think, was more of a vibe of dread and isolation. But a game that barely had a story, but Act Razor 2 had a few songs that would give you a very sort of like the feeling that you're in like a dead world, you know? And now the casino song? This is all one track. It's like a medley. I was just thinking that um, when I first played through, because, you know, I'm going through Dragon Quest VIII. You've been there on a lot of the videos as well. Um, when I first played through the ghost ship area fell forlorn. Maybe more Meridia. Because I'm, 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 I'm basing this less on the look of it and the graphics and everything, but more on the music. You know what I mean? Meridia had that sort of forlorn feel to it now that I think of it. The, the, the water level, you know? Um, how was I saying? Shit. Oh, damn. I hate when I interrupt myself and then I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Shit. Something about... Fuck, I don't know. Oh, God. What was I talking about? Dragon... Oh, yeah. The first time I ever went through Dragon Quest VIII, I got, like, a lot of, like, a lot of, like, really, really dope equipment by doing the casino. And the way that I would do it was I would just play roulette and put, like, a ridiculously big um, bet on, like, uh, black or white. Like, something real simple. I think it was black and red. And just save the game, and if I didn't win, I would just reset it. And you know, and you'd have to go through the, like loading the PlayStation Two and the game, and then you know. But it worked, right? Now I'm thinking, shit, we got save state, save states now. That'll go a lot faster, <laughs> right? Damn, we got save states now. R and Jesus gets a, a kick in the needs. In the nards. In the nesticles. But yeah. Absolutely, the gambling in Suikoden. Like, if you're not cheating, you're not playing! I mean, in Suikoden, it's even more justified because it's like... Bro, you're putting... You're, you have to do gambling stuff to recruit certain characters and get the good ending? Like, come on. I'm gonna cheat if I can. The house doesn't always win when I got save states. Waluigi approved. Y'all cheating! I approve. I was having fun with um with Felena whenever I like no no not Felena. What what game was it that I'm thinking of? It might have actually been Dragon Quest A that every time I missed, I go, oh my miss. <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't Dragon Quest. A. What the hell game was I playing that I kept doing that recently? Shit. Oh, you know what? It was Pokemon Diamond. Oh, I missed. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Now back to the town theme. One hell of a medley. This is from the Symphonic Suite album. They put out one for each Dragon Quest game, you know? Actually, this is a slight... is a different arrangement, though. This is the lively town. But yeah, Dragon Quest V will be a really interesting playthrough because it's such a cool game, and uh, there will be no chat participation on which bride... By the way, it's going to be Deborah. You know what? I, I deeply sort of regret not picking Deborah in my YouTube playthrough because I picked Nira, right? And the sort of like interesting thing was that I remember this was ages ago, you know, and not ages ago, but it was a while ago. And I remember thinking because I was still sort of friends with a uh, stupid snake. And I remember thinking, boy, it would sure piss him off if I picked Deborah. And I, I almost did it just, just for that reason, just to aggravate him. And that was sort of like 
one of the things that made me realize I ain't gotta be hanging around this dude anymore. You know what I mean? The sort of dude that would get really aggravated because you picked the mean girl, you know? Do a poll, but with only Deborah as an option. Oh my god, so, no, you know what it would be? The poll would be, you gave me an idea, right? The poll would be, should I pick Deborah as the bride in Dragon Quest V? And there'll be four answers. It'll be like, yes, very yes, yup, sexual, and yup, non-sexual. <laughs> That's got to be it, right? We're going to do that. That will be amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, God. It's so weird that, like, Square Enix treats Bianca as, like, the only correct choice to... Like, come on. Really? Really? Bianca? Okay. I always said that there's three choices of brides in Dragon Quest V. There's the uh, the canon choice, there's the right choice, and there's the best choice. <laughs> yeah, it'll be yeah, yeah, be yes, very yes, yup, sexual, and yup, non-sexual. That's what we'll do, right? Oh my God! How about the fact that they sold off major IPs like Tomb Raider and um, Deus Ex? to be able to afford blockchain technology so they can do this shit. And right when they sealed the deal was when all this shit started to crash down. Like the bubble started popping right when they announced it, right? That's amazing. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna play the intro. Here we go. No running in the halls! Don't tell me what to do! I'm running in the halls! Ah, fuck the police! I know a BJD is a ball-jointed ball ball doll, but I'm just thinking of ball jerk dick. When your last name is Fail, becoming a doctor doesn't even help all that much. I'm just gonna take this stick and shove it so far up my ass, I'll be singing Christmas songs with it! In the lava you go- oh shit! I deserve that. Woo! I don't know what's going on! Hello, I am over-designed McWeirdo. Hi, I'm create a character from Soul Calibur. Nice! 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 Work on it, Sten. You all better respect my trans harmless before I change your pronouns to words were. Bitch. Hey, I've been a bad golem. Oh, yeah, give it to me. Oh, I like it. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, from behind. Blockchain technology. Oh, snarf, snarf, snarf. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So I did level up a bunch uh, and got better equipment. Because losing to uh, Leon is not that unusual. He's a very tough wake-up boss, but I probably could have beaten him if I changed this, the, the party, but um, we were at the end of the stream anyway, so, you know. Let's get back there. I am going to still change the party, though, but I'll show you what's going on here, uh, equipment-wise. We could see that I did get the spiked armor for both uh, Solo and as well for Ternico, and I feel like I did more than that. Oh, I got a Cloak of Evasion for her. I think she might have already had that. But anyway, this is what I'm going to go with. So, Solo, Tornico, um, instead of Maya, we'll do Mina. Actually, Kirill as well. Kirill and, and Mina. Because basically, with Solo, Tornico, um, and then, like, Maya and Elena, I only had one healer, and it was solo. Now I have three characters that can heal, so it should be no problem. Also, um, I could get buffed by, uh, Kirill, and when he does his physical attacks against solo or Tornico with the spiked armor, he'll be taking damage as well, so. This is a great Pele de Leon. I can just walk in, right? Yeah. 
What am I doing talking to these assholes? Right? Come on now. One second, guys. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to step on that. NFTs! <laughs> oh, you're here, Solo. I've been waiting for you. Never mind about what's happened before. The real fight starts now. In we go. I love how the game acknowledges that you've already tried and lost. You, you have no business being an A. Eh? It's supposed to be French, but whatever. I'll take care of things here. You go after the Marquis de Leon solo. Hurry. Here we go. I am the Marquis de Leon. Pizarro the Manslayer has appointed me ruler of this land. Oh, I see we have met before. You are the girl who came for my henchman Balzac, no? I regret to inform you that he is no longer here. Girl Domange. But your timing is perfect. The Anwar was beginning too much for me. Now I will show you just how evil you humans really are. And you will feel the anger and hatred for your goddess that she created such a worthless race. Rock and roll, baby. Marquis de Leon appears. Alright, attack, attack. Uh, we're gonna do Kabuff, and you're gonna do... Yeah, the problem is I don't have Sap. Oh, well, maybe Kirill has it. Hold on. No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna deal without that. Kabuff is more important. So... I think she's just gonna attack for now. Nobody to heal yet. The breath attacks are what's nasty. What started in, like, 2014? Alright, my defense is sky high. Oh, NFTs. Well, I, I don't remember them that far back, but I remember them probably in around, like, 2017 or so, when you did get something physical along with it. But... It's, it's been kind of wacky. No, you attack. She can heal. This is going to be free. I'm way over leveled. I guess I wasn't hearing about them right when they started. Oh, I'll turn you into the jade. Ah, this is going fine. I wish I had multi-heal, but, you know, that's a later on spell. I also wish I could sap him, but I would need Ma um, Maya to do that. And I decided I'd rather have Kirill. Double healing rounds here. Oh, defense is starting to return to normal. Nice crit. Oh, no. Heal, attack, cup up, and heal yourself. Okay, good. Didn't work. That's fine. Alright. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, heal, attack, cup up, and heal Tarniko. The thing about the buff spells is they do wear off after a while. Alright, no problem, just attack. It's got a lot of health. So it's like the Dragon Quest Heroes, it's just a long battle. Ow, 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 ow. Alright. Alright, so heal, attack. No, not come buff. Uh, 
heal yourself and heal yourself. Everybody but Trinico gets healed. Ooh, caught him off guard there. Alright, now I gotta heal Trinico. He's doing that a lot. Gotta go for damage, though. You can't only uh, heal. Damn. Hey, Ace, how's it going? Oh, how'd it go? Heal yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna have you heal solo, maybe? Nah, 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 nah. You know what? Hold on. You attack, you heal Kirill. Bam. Crit, he's done. As soon as I saw that crit animation, I'm like, I know, that's it. We got him. Alright, solos reached level 19. And learn Snub. Snub is a weird sort of move. It, it sort of like just prevents uh, magic from reaching you. It doesn't bounce it back, but it just prevents it from working. Oh, well, it's good that she was honest, though. I wouldn't say it was a mistake. It's good that she was honest. All right, Tornico's level 21. Elena was level 19. Boria's level 19. It's weird that Boria's leveling up when I don't have the wagon with me, but all right. Boria learned Oomph. Oomph is a really good spell that doubles your attack power. So, And I got the full plate armor. I don't know if I need full plate armor or not. No, this is... This is... This is not possible. What is the meaning of this? You must be... I have been blasé. You are the hero they say will defeat the Lord of the Underworld. A true hero would already have disposed of Pizarro's. What on? What's going on? And where am I? I have the strangest feeling that I was talking in some foreign language just now. I feel like I've just woken up from the strange stream. I can't remember what I've been doing. What's going on? I can't remember anything I've been doing. That was incredible, Solo. You really are a hero, eh? But that was just the first step to stopping the evil that's threatening our world. The fight is not over yet. I'm going to join up with you to save the world from being destroyed. It's the least I can do, laddie. Ragnar joins the party. Oh wait, I just realized I don't have my chapter graphic up. I've been playing this this entire time. Let me get that out. And that he's the final one of the chosen one. The chosen. So we have we have the full party. Now time to start looking for that Zenithian equipment. I'll be waiting for you to in the wagon. He hits really hard. Really, really fucking hard. But he doesn't use magic or anything. Uh, he's a lot slower than Elena. Let's talk to people. Suti Lords, you have defeated the Marquis? Oh la la, don't hurt, I, I mean, please don't hurt me. The Marquis forced me to be his Chancellor, and he forced me to speak like that. Oh, if only I wasn't such a coward, I could have helped you all. Wait, perhaps I still can. Do you know that Balzac has taken up residence in Zamovska? Well, that helped, didn't it? We'll be heading there at some point. Maybe upstairs. <laughs> That man has been chasing me around and around and around. I've had it up to here with him. <laughs> and now she's chasing him. No, move. She'll catch me. What? I was very nearly on the operating table for the Marquis experimentation into the secret of evolution. No, no. I cannot hear it. Not the secret of evolution. Uh, what is the secret of evolution? It's the treasure of the Rudras. <laughs> You're too late. I have already done it. The secret of evolution is already in Lord Pizarro's hands. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Sucks to suck, right? Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. Just have to look into something real quick. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. 
At least they didn't forget about that game, huh? Now we have different overworld music because of, uh... The, uh... Whatchamacallit, um... We have all of the party members. Uh, Alright, so there's a bunch of places we can go. We've learned, uh, where Balzac is, but... First, I'm gonna... Well, hello. Well, I don't know, maybe I should go to Balzac... F first, right? He's in Zamoskva, which uh, is pretty north of Endor. Let me look at my map. I'm just thinking of where it actually is on that I can dock. Oh, okay, I see where I can go. All right. Hey, Sega fan, how's it going? It says first time chat, but I know you, don't I? How's it going? Did you make a new account? We got Terry Gotas. Oh, I should have changed my party. It's okay. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, that's a familiar name. Oh boy, these guys are, uh... First of all, the DS is chugging right now. You love Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest is my favorite series. I gotta do something to attack these guys. Uh, how about... Wait, you have Woosh, right? I thought you had Woosh. Oh no, she has Woosh. Pretty great, we just, we just defeated the Marquis de Leon. There we go. That's the big damage I was looking for. These guys got high defense. Yeah, he deserved it. He's a shitter. He's a shitter. Oh, I raided you. Is that what it is? That must have been it. All right, Maya learns safe passage. Let me, um, uh, first of all, I, I didn't ever heal, so let's do that real quick. I'm gonna change my lineup to regular instead of boss battle. No, not that. Alright, so. Him, him. Uh, do I want Elena or not? Do I want Elena or do I want Ragnar? Oh, I gotta look at the stuff that Ragnar has that got put in the bag, too. Four is one of my favorite childhood games. It's a classic. It's the first game that I remember having a really beautiful story. It's not much by today's st standards, but it was it was touching back in the day. It's uh, possibly, I would say, my fourth favorite in the series. Like, the Holy Trinity for Dragon Quest is 5, 8, and 11. But then, like, the next tier below that would include 4. Um, do I want Ragnar or Elena? Ragnar takes hits better, but he's a low... I'll, I'll use Ragnar, and then we'll use Maya. Semi-high priority? Alright, I'll check it out. Okay. Alright, hello, Gibbsy. Alright, so let's uh, head up in this direction. Actually, you know what? Since I'm kind of here, let me um, get this area mapped out. We're not ready to actually go here yet. And as a matter of fact, the enemies here would probably clobber me. But I can at least get it mapped out, right? But yeah, if you want, like, the really amazing Dragon Quest games, the... The, the Holy Trinity is 5, 8, and 11. Ultraviolet Ray... Ultraviolet Rays! Yo, where Riddle at? I haven't played Builders. Um, I don't. I was gonna get it for the Vita, and then it didn't come out here for the Vita. I don't think, or it did, and it, but like, I don't know. I couldn't get it, and it's not emulated all that well, you know. 
I tried to play the Switch version on Yuzu, and it was like, it ran really badly. I have Builders 2 on Steam, but I haven't played it yet. But I want to play the first one, you know, like, they haven't released it on Steam just yet. Hopefully they will. I don't know why Builders 2 got priority and they still haven't, there we go, still haven't released the original Dragon Quest Builders. Oh. Wait. Oh, here it is. This is where I want. First, let's go to the town. <laughs> this is Zalengrad. In the past, we are castle town of Zamoskva. But now, all castle people is disappeared. Yoi, what is becoming of our land? Indeed. Uh, oh! Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I even do anything like this, I kept saying I was going to do it. Because Ragnar came with a bunch of items. Let's see. Here we go. Seed of Agility. Let's use that. All the stuff from his chapter. Seed of Life. Seed of Strength. Oh, and Seed of Resilience. And let me check the bag, because it was probably stuff he put in the bag. Uh, oh, this full plate armor I got off the boss. Yeah, we'll give it to Ragnar. There we go. I don't think he put anything in my bag, though. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. Let me just see what they have here. It might be the stuff from, from Elena's chapter, but it might be new. Let's see. Oh, this is the same shit. Alright, never mind. We definitely want to talk to people, though. I already talked to you. Monsters are all over the mosque for castle. It is very frightening. I will be with courage like Serena and Levna, and I will fight away all monsters in castle. Yeah, take that! <laughs> There's a dog. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, Dragon Quest Heroes, I'm like, oh, I don't like these... Musu Musuo type games, but the only one that I had played was Hyrule Warriors, and I just I did not like Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> like Hyrule Warriors was boring as shit, but I Dragon Quest Heroes was really fun. I should stay at the end, but let me come up here. Oh, I'll talk to this dude. I was once the soldier at the mosque's for castle. On fateful day, Sar was speaking of a dream he saw. I wish I am aware of content, but that morning I am not at castle. I recall Chancellor telling that it is related to Lord of the Underworld. <laughs> Alright. Wait. Yeah, what is wrong with me? I said I was going to stay at the inn and I didn't do it. I know that I can get to different places here because I have the magic key. But I'm a trev. Oh, she's from Casablanca. How do they speak in Casablanca? I don't remember. Casablanca. If I find it on the map, I'll figure it out. Where is it? Oh, um. Yeah, I don't think I've even been there. Or am I tripping? Yeah, because it's kind of near Bath and Porthrunnel. There is a legend in my land of a young woodcutter falling in love with an angel. Oh yeah, they don't have the neutral accent there. That's me! Oh, well, that was my dad. She was from a world high up in the sky. I was reading the signpost in the rear garden here, and I'm wondering if it might have something to do with the same legend. And we can actually get out there. I am wishing with whole heart that I can turn the head of this nun at me. But I am not so good with speaking. I cannot make songs like Starling. I am with no chance that she loved me. Oh, it is so terrible. The benevolent Tsar and his people, all of them vanished. So I think we want to go this way. Up, up, up. Yeah, that's a magic key door we can get through now. And there's a separate weapon shop here, which is cool. I am student of history. Long ago, old Tsar of Zemoskva is able to observe into future. So I am wondering if perhaps current Tsar is also with some skill. Clearly, why else would he have vanished? Hmm. 
It's got the icon of a weapon shop. That's what's weird. Maybe I have to come here at night? Because this is not a weapon shop. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's what it is. Weapon and armor. Alright, let's see what they got. So, poison needle, steel bronze, somatic staff. Now we're talking. That's a good weapon. I don't have enough money for it. But what I do have right now is a whole bunch of shit that Ragnar was carrying that I can sell. Uh, here, we got this full plate armor. We can. That was the one I got off the boss. The other one Ragnar had with me. Alright, let's see what else. Here's another full plate armor. Because... Uh, that one actually, Tornico was holding that because Tornico actually stole it from uh, Marquis de Leon. Alright, we got iron armor. I got a lot of stuff to sell. We'll have lots of money. We got an iron lance. We'll sell that. Uh, scale shield, two of them. We'll sell those things. stuff in the bag as well. Um, yeah, sell the steel broadsword. We don't need that. Right, we can sell this iron apron. Iron lance. Get rid of that. Iron armor. Yeah, now, now I'm rich, bitch. And the plane close. Now I'm rich, bitch. Alright, so the somatic staff. Give that to Maya. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, get another one for Kirill. Boria can use it. Get it for him. There's an actor called Tom Holland and one called Tom Hollander. When are we getting Tom Hollandist? Good question. And one more for Mina. We're just putting these staves on everybody. Alright, the Battle Axe is a really good weapon for Ragnar. Can't quite afford it, but I, I do have stuff I can sell now. For example, uh, this poison moth knife. And his holy lance. Oh, Tom Hollandist. And this poison moth knife. I don't think this is going to give us quite enough. Tom Hollandless. Oh, yeah, right? That's going in the other direction there. It gives me almost enough. Alright, so what is it? It's 5,500 for the Battle Axe. We also have an Iron Mask here, which would be a decent uh, helmet for both Solo and Ragnar. So we'll, we'll come back here at some point to buy that stuff. How about Tom Ho? Murr. Fantastic. Smashy, smashy. To do a little herb. My grandfather was educated years ago in Tsar of S to Tsar of Samoska. It is very proud. All right, look at that. We got plain clothes, discipline and education, royal traditions, learning the laid-back way. Tom Hall, Tom Ho. Gotta have those. Yeah, gotta have all the Toms. Then just one guy who's just Tom. No first name, no last name, just Tom. Always Tom. Long ago, I am educated to Tsar of Samoska. It was before many years now, Tsar was only young boy. One night, he awakens me with request. It is very strange. He tells me that his daughter is troubled and that he must make signposts behind from church. I do not know what he was building signposts and what he is writing. Tsar himself did not have no memory of this. Tom from MySpace? <laughs> How about the fact that Tom from MySpace has the same exact name as Beavis and Butthead's neighbor? Tom Anderson. So this is the signpost they keep talking about. Solo reads the sign. To my daughter of future, I see you must be troubling, so I teach you useful something. Elevated high in the sky is castle dubbed Zenithia, where Dragon God resides. Dragon God has formidable strength, 
and he long ago sealed into darkness the Lord of the Underworld. The people from Canalot across ocean to north are knowing many more things of the Sinithia. Yours with affection, the Tsar of Samoskva. Alright. Let's go in here. <laughs> this castle belongs to us now. The monsters. The monster is ours. Mr. Anderson. And Balzat is the new ruler. Alright, well, we'll fight Balzak. Oh, wait, I don't think I can get past this guy until I beat Balzak. Don't play with fire, human. You'll never get close to our treasure. Now leave. This castle belongs to us. If humans try to enter, they will be shot down in flames. Oh, battle. Hoodoo Gurus! I'm gonna do that voodoo that you do. Don't you dare. Thank you. <laughs> the ball zack, but yeah. Oh no, he got Ragnar. Fuck, that's that's shitty. I don't have the zing spell yet to bring him back. Those instant death spells are a bitch. And the reason that Ragnar is more susceptible because he's a bit of a lower level. The chance that an instant death spell will hit you is somewhat based on your level in relation to the enemy's level. Well, that sucked. Elena's level 20. Kirill's level 19. Alright, now I gotta freaking spend money on uh, reviving poor Ragnar. Well, I'm trying to build up money, not build down. <laughs> no, stupid, dig up! Where is the church? Oh, it's like right ahead of me, actually. It's just not marked. Balzac rules this castle. Balzac was the guy that killed Mina and Maya's father. Alright, uh, resurrection. 230? That's not too bad. Try not to get insta death. <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready to fight Balzac, though. Oh, we'll try it. Leave now, humans are prepared to die. <laughs> Perfect timing. I was feeling a bit peckish. Balzac worked like to the bone, you know. It's him you should be picking a fight with, not me. Uh, mini demon. Frizzle, damn, that's kind of rough. I'll make a save before I attempt to do it. Alright, let's go upstairs. Dude, get out of the way. Here we go. Uma, imbeciles, this is my castle now. Oh? I have a sense of deja vu. The daughter of Mahabalanon. What a placer to see you again. You do not recognize me, perhaps? It is I, Balzac. But I am stronger than before. Now they call me Balzac. Regards the result of my evolution extraordinaire. I didn't save it. This is the closest you will ever come to seeing the form of a god. There is only one. In this form I am stronger than even Pizarro the Manslayer himself. Listen well, my filly. I know how you must miss your father, but soon you will join him. Balzac draws near. Oh, man. Uh, can I change the party? No, I don't. All right. This is... Yeah, I should have saved it. I should have changed the party. All right, maybe I can do this. I'm pretty high level. That's the problem. Oh, that was nothing. Yo, free. All right. Crackle. That's worse. It didn't hit him? 
Oh god. He must not have defense. Yeah, blow back. Crit. My hope is to just kill him quickly before he can hit me. Crit. Alright, wow, free. Yo, Maya was doing work there. A lot of experience points. Way easier than I remember it being. Solo's level 20. Torniko's level 22. Ragnar's level 16. Ragnar's level 17. Elaine is level 21. Already is level 20. Mina is now 20. All the levels, yeah. That was a lot of experience points. And Mina learned Zing, a very, very important spell. It has a 50% chance to raise somebody from the dead. No, this is impossible. Nothing can surpass this evolution I have undergone. The secret of evolution will save me from... from, from Sucks to suck, Balzac. I'm sorry, Balzac. This experiment has officially failed. I must inform Lord Pizarro immediately. Looks like the secret of evolution does require the armlet of fan <laughs> transmutation after all. And four dollars, yep. Only the armlet of transmutation can amplify the dark energy enough. Once we have the Armulet of Transmutation, the secret of evolution will be ours for the taking. And finally, it will be our time. The era of the Dark One's rule. <laughs> Sweet! That actually kicks all the monsters out of the castle, including the one that was guarding this room. So we can get in here. We got ourselves a Magma Staff. Nice! Let me uh, see about who can use that. I'll just have him appraise it. Yeah, all right, it's a kind of special staff, this one. If you use it like an item, it'll spit balls of magma out at one end. Maya, Kirill, Borgia, and Mina can be equipped with it, but it doesn't look like I can. It is not an item you'd be wanted to sell this, and you couldn't get a price for it if you did. All right, so... Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Maya. All right. I just bought her a weapon, too. Go figure. Got the flute of revelation. Ba, ba, ba. Another very important. Probably to prevent thieves from getting it, you know. Oh. All right. So let's also get that appraised. Hmm. It is not like any other flute I've ever seen before. But I suppose it must be good for a tune if you blow it. Or it wouldn't be called a flute now, would it? It is an unusual item. I doubt you'll find in a shopkeeper that'll give you a price on it. You can even use it, but it's like... Yeah. It's kind of a common thing in Dragon Quest games for um, important treasures to be put behind electric floors. And there's a Seat of Strength. Okay. Oh, oh, no. So we can go ahead and use that Seat of Strength. Strength up by three. Alright, and we sort of, like, learned something about... Oh, there's still random encounters. Rhinothropes, and they're just gonna go ahead and attack? When I'm at low health? How rude. Uh, let's try and get out of this. No, that's bad. Oh god, don't do that. Don't do that either. Oh god. I'm gonna get killed because I'm at low health here, and... All right, Tornico stole something. I should have healed. That 
That makes sense, yeah. Well, at least I don't have to spend money on Ragnar and Maya's resurrection because I can have Mina do it. Once I'm the hell out of here. Well, the cook would have rubber-soled shoes, right? If you think about it. Uh, wait, I might have to be outside. Well, let me see. Uh, no, it should be fine. It's a 50-50 shot. Oh, come on. There we go. I'll just stay at the end. I could have also used the safe passage spell to get over that electric floor, but I was like, ah, it's just a little bit, no big deal. And I thought there would be no more random encounters, but... Those rhinothropes did a number on me. Okay, let's see... I think with selling some stuff now, I could probably get that axe. I could go ahead and sell... Wait. Where'd that battle... Oh, he stole that battle axe from the Rhino Throw. Hold on. Damn. I knew he stole something, but I didn't see what it was. Now let me be taking a look at this. It is an axe for the using in battle. Sure, it is grand for attacking, but it's a right pig to handle. Not for everyone, this. Solo and Ragnar can be equipped with it. It's not the same axe. It doesn't look like I could equip myself with it. It'd fetch about 4,125 gold coins if you sold it in a shop. So I actually... Oh, he has one already. I don't know if that's the same axe or not, but let me give it to him. That saves me some trouble, then. Because Tornico stole that. Yeah, it's the same axe. Look at that. I don't have to buy that now. Alright, so let me sell... Um, his Cautery Sword. And also... Uh, her Somatic Staff. We don't need that anymore. Okay, but we're gonna get these iron masks. Uh, one of them for Solo. And... Another one for, uh... For Ternico. Not Ternico, Ragnar. Alright, that really helps Ragnar's defense, too. Alright, so we have a lead on the next place to go to, because they mentioned that Canalot has information about the Zenithian equipment and the secret of evolution, and it's not far from here. So that's where we'll head next. Let me just get this whole thing mapped out before I go into it. Oops. Alright, we got an axolotl and two ultraviolet rays. Uh, ultraviolet rays, rather. Hey, you tell me, how's it going? Yo, I just kicked Balzac's ass. Like, you can barely do anything. Alright, Kirill's level 20. I am overleveled, though. Really? Hold on, now. There's the rest of the map. Okay. Oh my god, that was pretty... pretty wild. I'm trying to look at... It's actually kind of annoying to get to... the place here. I don't think I can get through there. There's a specific way to go to it. I think here should do it. Rock bombs! And they're asleep, which is nice. Still asleep. 
Got him. Ooh! Alright, Tornico stole something. It's another good reason to have Tornico in the battle he's up. Because he can steal items. It's random, but you know, it do, it do be like that. Oh, it's a seed of life. Let me use that right away. Alright, max hit points up by four. Yep, this will get me to the castle. Okay. Another rhino throat. Okay. Got him. And Maya hit level 22. Nighttime. Smashy, smashy. Hey, Mogul, how's it going? Welcome to the weapon shop. What could I do for you? All right, battle axes and oh, they have dream blades here. Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't quite afford the dream blades now. We're gonna definitely want to get that. But here, let me sell this iron helmet. Your hardwood head there. So 8,000 for the Dream Blades, but they're worth it. You want those Dream Blades, because they can not only are they really strong, but they put enemies to sleep. All right. Let's just stay at the inn for now to make it daytime so that there's people around to talk to and whatnot. <laughs> it's impossible to think of any decent material. How selfish of King Laffer to demand to demand laughter when the world is in such a perilous state. He's sleeping. Actually, I got a better idea. I'll fight monsters till daytime. That might... I think that weapon shop might only be open at night, but I need a, you know, I need a lot of money for that, so let's just quickly get some battles. Here's a rhino throat. Oh, he's not attacking. I think it's almost daytime already, so... Is it daytime now? Welcome to Canelot, City of Water. No doubt you've come to answer King Laffer's appear. If you wish to reach the castle, you'll need a raft. I wish you luck. Yeah, not yet, though. Yeah, it's all, he sleeps during the day. I ask that you refrain from speaking with me. Now I happen to be a night owl. It's okay. Alright, let's uh, look around the rest of the town. Start with the church. I have faith that divine forces are always watching over us from Zenithia and beyond. That's the armor shop. I'll see what they have. I'm not going to buy anything just yet, but see if there's anything interesting. Uh, they have the magic vestment, which, yeah, I would want two of those. They have dragon mail, which I'd want one of those for Ragnar. And iron helmets. I don't need those. Okay. You don't collect switches yet. And um, this is the other weapon shop, the one that's open during the day, which doesn't sell anything that you couldn't get in, like, other towns. So it's the nighttime weapon shop that's useful. King Laffer's appeal is turning our city into another laissez fair for the entertainers and comedians. Smashy, smashy. Mmm, the mini medal. Miniature medallion. Smashy, smashy. down here? Okay. I must hurry and prepare a meal for my uh, before my husband comes home. Let's see. Mm, another mini medal. Mm. Nothing interesting here. Yeah, those are real cheap. But there'll be a point where switches will be cheap, you know? Just check out the boob. Smashy, smashy. Welcome, welcome. I'm afraid the pub is only open at night. My apologies. It's weird, because, like, you can have the camera, like, all the way around, but then outside it'll force it back into this perspective, because for whatever reason in this town, you can't move the camera all the way. Here in Canelot, there's long been talk concerning the floating castle of Zenithia. If you wish to know more, you should ask the scholar at the castle, for I forget the details long ago now. 
That is true. How beautiful your face is, reflected in the crystal clear water. I say, do you not know it's bad form to disturb a man when he's courting? Oh, I was trying to talk to her, but alright. This is so boring. All these men ever do is make poetry. That's Blondel. Tis a silly place. You get it. Alright, let's go into the castle. <laughs> Yonder lies Canelot Castle. Smashy smashy. And we got a seed of strength. Let's use that right away. Strength up by one. All right. Am I to assume you're here to answer King Laffer's appeal? Uh, let's say I am. King Laffa has promised to bestow a substantial reward upon wh whomsoever is able to entice him to mirth. Strong seed, yeah. <laughs> or as I call it, the Brazil nut. <laughs> Why must weapons and armor be quite so heavy? I can accept that there's no choice but to endure it, though. Never knows when monsters might attack. Smashy, smashy. There we go, a file of magic water. Did you hear about what has come to pass at Samosksva? It seems the castle was attacked by monsters. I'm well under. I can well understand why King Larfa wishes to forget everything and enjoy laughter again. Nothing. Also nothing. And a chimera wing. Okay. My mother often told me tales when I was younger. She told me of a castle in the clouds where the dragon god lives. If it's true that the dragon god resides in Zenithia, then a brave warrior must go to him and request his assistance. Right must be defended against might. The lord of the underworld and his monstrous minions must be stopped. Nothing. Hmm. A miniature medallion. How many mini metals does that put me at? Uh, not there. Here. 14? I think the next prize is at 15. Right. Oh, talk to this guy. I stand guard here to prevent monsters from entering the castle. They are becoming more and more devious of late, so it's important that we guards are alert at all times. Alright, let's go right in the middle. If you wish to meet with King Larfa, please ascend the stairs before you. <laughs> there was a hilarious entertainer in the wee town I was in before. Tom Foolery was his name. I'd say he'd soon have his... Oh, okay. I'd say he'd soon have his majesty fallen about the place for laughter. I wonder where he's got to now. How can this be a steel broadsword when I did not steal it? Was that at all amusing, do you think? No, it wasn't very good. Since the monsters began appearing among us... The mood of our people has become progressively darker. That is why King Laffa was prompted to issue his appeal. He wishes to provide amusement to his subjects. So we actually already kind of have a lead. That guy was clearly from Berlin. And he was talking about tomfoolery. So we'll head in that direction soon. Oh, it's not the kind I can check. Here in Canelot, there has long been talk concerning Zenithia, the kingdom in the sky. It seems that he who collects the Zenithian armor, helm, shield, and sword earns the right to ascend to Zenithia. But the lamentable effect is that only the Zenithian helm remains part of the Canelot Royal Collection. Nothing interesting there. The Tale of the Winged Man. I once saw a man washed up on the beach with the most terrible wounds on his back. I helped the poor fellow back to my house. Thankfully, I was able to nurse him back to health, and his back healed nicely. Then one evening, right before my eyes, two white wings appeared from where his wounds had been. The man explained that he had come from a floating castle. With that, he flew off into the night sky, leaving behind a gleaming white helmet. That's the Zenithian helm. How can... Ah, oh, I already talked to you. No, no, shut up, shut up. Your puns suck. How would I love... How I would love to visit the castle in the sky, Zenithia. But first, one must collect all of the Zenithian equipment. I have no hope of being able to do such a thing. People say the Zenithian shield was once located in Berlin. Another reason to go to Berlin. But I know not where the other items are located. Yeah, where Riddle at? 
Even I didn't like that, so I don't think Riddle would really appreciate it. It's important to keep one's material to oneself until performing it before His Majesty. It would be regrettable if someone went to steal it. King Lava will bestow a substantial reward on whomsoever entices him to mirth. I wish you luck. There are only three kinds of people. Those who can count, and those who can't. That's kind of funny. Would you mind walking away? My time has come to try to make the king laugh. Yeah, you just wait. Hit the king with Mind Goblin? Good king, do you know of the Mind Goblin? Wait, hold on. Ah, not even a snigger. Back to the drawing board, then. Mind Goblin is nuts. What do you call a cow that cannot give milk? An utter failure. I was hopeful this would make his majesty laugh. But it seems the failure is not the cows alone. Ooh, yeah. Dan Cook was funny for about five minutes, and then he wasn't. Welcome. Your name is Solo, you say. Very well, Solo. We trust that you know of our appeal. Now, make us laugh. We would ask that you do not waste our precious time. Solo's is the first joke that comes to mind. But King Larfer doesn't seem to find it funny. <laughs> we are not amused. By the way, we are not amused is a uh, quote misattributed to Queen Victoria. She actually said we were very amused. I wonder what King Lothar can think can be thinking of issuing such an extraordinary appeal. I can understand why the princess is fretting so. I know that father must have his reasons, and yet... And yet... And yet... Man, I've been smoking weed since... <laughs> since, 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 since... <laughs> Y'all remember that fucking PSA? All right. We'll head to Berlin. We have a lead on the shield, and I believe that's where tomfoolery, or news of where tomfoolery is. But before we head there, we, we have equipment to buy, so I'm gonna do some, 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 some grindage. We're gonna need quite a lot of money. Uh, thankfully, keeping Tornico in the group will help with that, because he'll steal items from enemies. A whole lot of lethal armors, and they're just gonna go first because they're dickheads. Uh, throw out sizzle here. That's a good amount of money. You wanna fight in the hills, you get nobody got flamethrowers and a chest a cheater cheetah. Not a chester cheetah, a cheater cheetah. Dude had like one joke. He's got a game genie. <laughs> he's got a game genie and he's gonna use it on the cheetah man. He's gotta occasionally check his inventory. Okay, cheetah cheetah's on a rhino throw. Oh, Maya got fizzled, really? Alright, rock bombs. And they sleep in. You know what, since I'm gonna be grinding for a bit, we might as well, um... Put some music on. I'll put that same like Super Nintendo mix that I had on last night. Let me do that. Yeah, we'll pick it up where we left it off, which is in the middle of Terranigma. Hey, Ragnar hit level 18. Mina hit level 21. Chilonodons. Right, flamethrowers, lethal armor, and rhino fort. Do you have bang? Yes, you do. Ah, oh, put Maya to sleep.
Here, I don't want to actually have the music thing up. I'm going to minimize it so I can try to guess what songs are coming up. A whole bunch of lethal armors. I'll throw out a sizzle. Solo is level 21. Learned Kaklang. Pretty useless spell. And Tornico hit level 23. Kaklang turns the character to steel for several turns, and they cannot be harmed in any way, but they also can't move. The only real use of it would be to turn a character that's in front to steal to, like, I guess tank some hits while healers run interference. Alright, Bori is level 21, and Bori learned Kasap. Flamethrowers and lethal armors. Damn, a crit. How much money I got? Alright, we're not quite there. Rhinothropes and a chest. A chest a cheetah. A cheater cheetah. I keep wanting to say chest a cheetah. It isn't easy being cheesy. Heal up. Or lethal armor. You go for some Cheetos? I mean, yeah. Do you like the puffy ones or the crunchy ones? I prefer the crunchy ones over the puffy ones. Alright, rock bombs. Gotta watch out because these guys can explode on you. They don't give a lot of money. Puffy ones are too messy. Yeah, I agree. But I also just like the crunchy ones. I feel like they got more flavor. Right? Alright, Elaine is level 22. More rock bombs. Yeah, she, it would be a good time to throw out spells. Huh. Oh, what is this? Yo, what is this song? Yo, what is this? Jalapeno crunchy ones? I've never had that. Yo, what is this song? Oh, it's Axelay. Yeah, that's a cool game. I associate Axelay with me screaming about how Seth MacFarlane is trying to fuck animals. Oh, he stole a, seat, stole a few items. He got a Seed of Life and a Battle Axe. Let me go there now, because I'm sure if I sell that Battle Axe, I can get at least one sword. A gym montage. Oh my god, yeah, Rocky's working out to this shit, right? Oh, who level? Oh, Ragnar leveled up. Ragnar hit level 19. God, you're right! Yeah, if I sell that Battle Axe... And it definitely gives me enough for one of the Dream Swords. Oh, here's where the, the workout starts getting real intense, right? I only need two of them. So we'll give this to Solo. Alright. And we'll sell his Battle Axe. And it gives me almost, almost enough for another Dream Blade. Moogs all like, 11 Dragon Quest games, and all the luminaries have been human. I'm glad for that. Actually, that's not 100% true. Uh, in Dragon Quest X, you start off as human, and keep in mind, I've never played the game, but I, this is my understanding of it. And then you are reborn as one of the five tribes, and some of them are not quite human. All right, Kirill's level 21. I'm grinding to get some money here. Uh, Carol learns Zing. Before we head to Barland. 
Flamethrowers and lethal armors, get a free round. How's it going, Manic? I got the, uh, the same Super Nintendo mu music list that I had on last night. That's why you're hearing Axelay. Another Rhinothrope. Flamethrowers. Google's ears have perked up. Yo, that was gross when we raided that dude last night, and somebody in the chat said, Ninetales is a smash. And Moogle's like, I agree. Like, y'all really talking about fucking animals? Like, you're not joking? Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Mm, Metroid Dread. What a fun game. My right, Chilinodons. It was just that one missile that pissed me off. I got 99% because of that one missile. Like, Moogle, like, you, you wouldn't really, like, fuck an animal, right? Like, come on. You, you gotta tell me that you wouldn't. Cause I can't, I can't be having you in here with a friggin' moderator sword if you'd fuck an animal. Cause that's nasty. Alright, Maya's level 23. And she learned Boom, which is an upgraded version of Bang. So, first she bangs you, then she gives you Boom Boom. A single Chilonodon. Alright. Lethal armors. Yo, let's show off the boom spell. Where is it? Oh, she got put to sleep? Really? Alright, next battle. Are you saying no, you wouldn't fuck an animal, or no, you won't say that you won't fuck an animal? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Fucking Mega Man 7, yo. You wouldn't, good. Then please don't talk about doing so, because it really fucking grosses me out. Yep, chill, man, exactly right. One or two more battles will do it. I also gotta wait till nighttime, but I think I have the night lamp, so I don't have to really wait. That guy hit me pretty hard. What the hell? I'll head over in that direction. Alright, turn goes level 24. That gives me enough, but I gotta wait till... I gotta... It's gotta be nighttime. I think I got a nightlight. Hold on. Uh, I thought I had the nightlight. Somebody holding it? Yeah, she's holding it. All right, we can chill with the Mega Man music then, and we can turn the game audio back on. Ba 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 ba. Chill out, man. I'm chill, man. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy that Dream Blade. Which I'm gonna give to Ragnar. And I'll sell off his, uh... His battle axe. Alright, off to Berland area. Berlin's not super far from here. It's a bit of a trek, but not too bad. Rock bombs! His, his ass woke up. Good night. Starting to wake up. Oh, nice. You can't leg sweep something that doesn't have legs, Tornico.
I got so much health. Alright, there we go. Alright, and that is Borgia hitting level 22. And Mina hitting level 22. Kick the spiritual legs out from under that phone. Yeah, I don't think that Torniko's able to do that. He's just not spiritual enough. Oh, I was not trying to get off there. Get off. Now, this is where Berlin is. We're going to pop in Straithbale first because it's nearby. And also because Straithbale is important to the story. Two spinchillas, two axolotls, and an axolotl. All right. This calls for boom. It's like the spiritual wang, right? Everybody's got a spiritual wang. Yep, yep, yep. What is it tonight? I'm not sure if I'm going to be there because I'm building up a hell of a migraine here, but I'd like to be there. Alright, Solo's level 22. Just like, ugh. It's a migraine day. And here's where chapter one took place. Let's pop into Straith Bale real quick. Someone tell Elise, yeah. Welcome to Straith Bale. The tone's full of nothing but talk of the funny old dream folk I had in the lake. I'd ask around a wee bit before staying at the inn if I were you. Yeah, let's ask around a bit, right? I'm here to collect me wee bairn. Hopefully they should be done for long. One of the few towns that has a school. This is the town school. I'm sorry, the town school. We're in the middle of a class, the new. Harlan County, is it? Yeah, I'd like to see that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to try and make it, but if my headache's really bad, I, I'm going to take the night off. No, 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 you kind of catch me, you kind of catch me. Wait, just wait, will you? Jings, can someone stop? Come on, let's not stop this last fun foot now running about. My name's Willy Wally. Folk here have some really funny dreams when they stay at me ma at we ma in lately. Man, it's so exciting. The kid in front keeps turning around and distracting me. I cannot get any work done. Who oh, come all the exciting stuff only happens to Willy Wally. It's no far. Guess what? Willy Wally from the end says he's been flying in the sky. I wish I could do that. But yeah, but he got kidnapped and it was a whole thing. You go after monsters and fighting them and everything. That's brilliant. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a man. No, that's not right. I'm gonna be a, a mon I'm gonna be a palace guard. If you could try not to disturb or close, I'd be much obliged. But we kiddies are easily distracted. Willy Wally. Guess someone's not liked by their parents. <laughs> no, I, I, hope, I hope I can too. It's just it's it's a bad migraine day. Uh. Where's the jail again? Oh, it's up there. Okay. I talked to her. I wonder what's become of that chap who was doing in the jail for. Ah, uh, he's probably back home at this point. <laughs> no, nothing down there. I don't know why I bothered. I knew there was nothing down there. I went down there in chapter one. I don't think they have anything new here. Let me see. Yeah, it's the same crap as chapter one. Well, if it is near Ragnar McRoyan. What a pleasure it is to see you looking so fighting fit. There was no news of you for a wee while. King Burnan was starting to fret about your well-being. Oh, we'll definitely be visiting him. We have not used this jail since our fellow Angus was here a while back. You cannot beat it when it's peaceful. But lately there's this strange monster with lots of legs coming and checking our food. I tried my best to tell catch the thing. But with that many legs, I just cannot keep up. Smashy smashy. Can't get in there just yet. We don't have the key for that door. Willy Wally. Uh, nobody in here. Alright. <laughs> I'm making a snack for my wee barn. Ugh, oh, it's a real joy being a mother at times like this. Alright, in. That's what's important to do here. This is actually going to show you part of the lore. Solo falls into a deep sleep. Shortly afterwards, a dream begins. A 
man plays a mysterious melody on the flute. We have that flute now. You can tell that that's Pizarro the Manslayer. Pizarro. Rose, have you been good? Of course, Pizarro. I have something to tell you. I've decided to destroy all humankind. I'll use the secret of evolution and become so strong that no one will be able to stop me. Soon the world will be ablaze with the searing flames of judgment. You must remain safely hidden here until my work is done. Wait, Pizarro! Somebody must stop him. Somebody must stop Pizarro. Otherwise, the whole world will be destroyed. I beg of you, if you can hear me, you must listen to my plea. So it's not so much a dream, it's Rose's, like, psychic connection. She's, like, trying to get a hold of somebody. Oh, somebody please answer me. Time is running out. And you might wonder, like, why... Why Straith Bale? Um, I would wonder, too, to be honest, why Straith Bale, because... The closest town to where Rose is would be Bath, you know? Uh, Bath is close, Porthronal and Femiscara are, are sort of close, Casa Branca's a little closer, Berlin's closer, Hamlet's closer. So it's sort of weird that Straith Bale is where the dreams, the, the psychic energy is going, but that's just the way it is. I keep having the same exact dream here every night. It's starting to get give me the willies. I break my back cleaning away here every day, but no one seems interested in a bath. I blame that wee lassie in the dream for keeping them all away. Meow. <laughs> fantastic. Not sure what I was expecting, but fantastic. Alright. Let's go to Berland. If you go south from this cave, you'll come to Berlin. Ah, you knew that already, did you? I'm very impressed, laddie. Will these guys merge? Probably not. Yeah, they got, like, no defense. They're not the kind that merge. Why are you wiling out, Gibbs? Willy Wally. It's a relief that Ancas is back. <coughs> Excuse you. You need to stop. You cannot do that right now. It's a relief that Ancas is back home safe and sound. Agnes was starting to look peely wally with all the worry that he might come to him mischief. Hey! Stop that! Stop it! Get, get away from there now! What is it wrong with you? Freaking wiener. No, get off of me. Ah, it's all very intriguing indeed. This talk of folk trying to collect the Zenithian armor and weapons so they can climb it up into the sky. It certainly makes you think, eh? But I am sure that the sky castle even exists myself. Oh, it does, sir. It does. You better stop it, Gibbs. I'm telling you. Folk over in Strathbell have been having funny dreams just lately. I suppose you could say all dreams are funny, though, eh? That's true. If you're heading for Straithbale, you need to go west to the Straithbale Borough in the northeast when you get to the other side. <laughs> do, you, can, do you know about the key? The key that can open even jail doors. Folks say it's owned by a queen in a castle somewhere. Gibbs. I didn't say jump on me, or jump. I just said Gibbs. You better stop it. You're a naughty noodle. Ah, he is for a wee bit in a shopping idea. Then maybe you can uh, away and around to the counter if it's not too much trouble. You never get monsters coming to places where there are lots of people, so we're safe here. But maybe not for much longer. Folk are saying the Lord of the Underworld is awake again, no? 
Ugh. I'll make myself scared just talking about it. <laughs> I've taken care of things all by myself. I am at a wee lady no more. You're killing it, kid. You're killing it. God. I wanted to be a palace guard back in my day, you can. If you're helping Berlin, then I want to help you. What do you say? Can I tag along with you? Yeah, sure. Hoots, I can. Then it's away. Ugh, but I ain't much of a fighter, so don't count on me too much there. No, 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 you can't, you can't, no, no, my head hurts, no, stop it, stop it, stop it, be nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, alright, just the castle. No, Gibbs! No. No. Ah, it's a, oh, it's a wee bit chilly for stone root and gore in the day. Ah, it's you, Ragnar. Get him, boy. I wouldn't allow any suspicious-looking folk to set foot inside the castle. This is Bonnie Burren Castle. King Burren is just upstairs. It's good to see you looking so well there, Ragnar. We've been all a wee bit concerned for you, His Majesty included. Go on through with you. A dragon god in Zenithia, the ultimate state of evolution. Hey, Varys, I didn't care with that old galoots blathering about half the time. Jings, no, I got it. The Lord of the Underworld is a monster who somehow achieved the ultimate state of evolution. But the Zenithian dragon god didn't like how strong he was, and he went and sealed him away. No, this Lord of the Underworld is starting to reawaken, and he's causing all sorts of stramish. The dragon god needs to be told about this before it's too late. Oh, you had to listen to what the old man in the room next door's got to say. Just did, yeah. What I don't understand is who anyone's supposed to meet this Zenithian dragon god. Besides, if he's a god, then surely he's already kins everything and he didn't need anyone to go tell him. A point has been made. His Majesty was telling me who in the Zenithian shield used to be here in Berlin Castle. No, I come to think of it, there's a Zenithian helm out there that's supposed to be part of the King of Canelot's collection. Canelot's west from here across the ocean. I wonder if the helm's still there. It is, but we're working on it. What are you doing here, Ragnar? You certainly like to take things easy, eh? Oh yeah, we're getting those treasure chests right now. I hear the armlet of transmutation they had on sale here was swiped by monsters. I can't understand why a monster would want to steal a thing like that. Hmm, mini metal. And then we have an iron helmet. Uh, Iron Helmet I don't think I need. Let me check it out real quick. Yeah, it's, it's weaker than what we have. Alright, a Seed of Life. Let's go ahead and use that. A Seed of Agility. Oh yeah? Who's that? I'm not surprised, but... There's a Seed of Strength. Let me open the last one before I do that. Four dollars! Alright. Yeah, but if you know, like, Oprah politically, it's not surprising, you know? She's sort of a... I wouldn't say she's on the left, but she's liberal-ish. Well if, it isn't, well, if it isn't Ragnar and McRyan, I cannot tell you how good it is to see that you're safe and sound. I've been praying day and night that you're not coming to any harm out there that's on your travels. Ugh, it's dead too much. Yeah, about it. Yeah, exactly. She's a centrist at best, but definitely nowhere near Oz. This is King Burnin's throne room. The magma staff can summons a really hot magma that can melt rocks, you know. I hear you may be able to find one over in the western kingdom of Zamoska. Yeah, I already got that. Pimiskara Castle is high in the mountains. There used to be a little track leading up there. That was just destroyed when the volcano erupted a while back, though. If only you had a magma staff, you might be able to melt the rocks blocking the entrance to it. Chings, you've got a magma staff. Ah, oh, well, there's a piece of luck now, ain't it? Good to see you again, Ryan. So you found the chosen hero, did you? Well done, soldier. 
I've got a wee bit of news as well. I've discovered that the Zenithian shield used to be one of Berlin's treasures. But it was given to the Queen of Femiscara way back in my grandfather's time. Femiscara is the land out in the so eastern mountains where only lassies live. Losh, trust my old granddad to be swayed by the ladies into giving away a thing like that. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really get political at all. Because he just, he doesn't want to... <laughs> His ratings to drop, basically. All right, so I, I, I miss. I'm glad I came here, but I misremembered about where Tom Foolery is. Let me just look it up real quick. He might be in Bath. Let me see. It doesn't say where he is. It says he, he might be in laissez-faire. Let me head there. That's right, he was performing there. Oh. Yeah, he does whatever he does for ratings, really. There, there's no bit of... Uh, there's not a single bit of integrity in Dr. Phil. What's that now? You want me to come along with you? I see, so this is an Ethian helm yoke that belongs to the King of Canelot, something yourselves are needing for your quest, is it? And to persuade the Fane to give it to you, you need my expertise? Don't tell me you're trying to make your way to Zenithia. Nah, I don't even want to know. Ah, well, I could do with a laugh, and this sounds like it'll be a good crack. Why not? Alright, tomfoolery becomes the life and soul of the party. All right. I could have done this before going to Berlin, but I... For some reason, I thought he was in Berlin, but then I was like, oh no, he, that's right, they hired him here in laissez-faire. After Maya left. Right, well, I'll be heading off then. I'll be waiting out in your wagon. Alright, back to Canelot. Excuse me. Get the hell out of my way. I should be able to cast a spell here. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, here in Catalog. Yeet! Dude, just stop talking get out of my way, son. And then we'll start going to Femiscara, where the shield is. Uh, and we can get to, Fem to Femiscara because we have the Magma Staff. Gotta wait in line. Oh, Tom's not with me. Do I, did I need to add him? Oh, I can't right now. Shit. Right. Yeah, nah. I have to actually add him to the party. I forgot about that. Yeah, Jerry Springer's pretty uh, center left as well, right? He was the mayor of Cincinnati. You know. I would say center left. I bet you that Steve Wilkos was a Republican, though. Yeah, I'll just put him in like this. You have to actually make sure to have Tom in the group. Springer being center left means that Chuds would call him a socialist, far left, radical. That's how it works, right? Ah, let me speed this up a bit. 
I might actually have to put him in front. I'll see. Welcome. Your name's Solo, you say? Very well, Solo. We trust you know of our appeal? Now make us laugh. We would ask that you do not waste our precious time. Nah, you gotta put him in the very front. <laughs> we are not amused. Well, also the fact that he was a cop. You know what I mean? Oh, you know what's actually really funny? Watch this. I'm gonna put Ragnar in front. Because every character has a different sort of reaction here. Oh. It defaulted to Solo. Maybe I'm thinking of the mobile version. Alright. Let me just try putting Tom in front, then. Damn it. Tom. Ah, here we go. Welcome! Your name is Tom Foolery, you say? Very well, Tom Foolery. We trust you know of our appeal. Now make us laugh. Pray do not tarry. You must be made to laugh. I'm afraid I'll have... I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you, Your Highness. I have nothing funny I can tell you. But I have not been traveling alone. I'm sure my friends will bring a smile to your face even if I can't myself. So if you could just see your way into handing over the Zenithian helm, that'd be grand. My friends will be off to save the world with it. And before you know it, everyone will be happy as Larry again, laughing and guffawing all day long. Hmm. You speak as one who is able to read our own mind, good sir. The very reason we issued our appeal was to lift the hearts of our people. Yeah, I, I don't see him supporting Trump because Trump is a disgusting, dirty old man and Steve Wilkos hates disgusting, dirty old men. Oh, but he kissed his ass when he won? Oh, that's disgusting. No integrity anymore. We believe we could bring them good cheer by summoning entertainers to our kingdom, but we have thus far been thwarted in our attempts to bring happiness to those who have lost hope. Now, we see clearly the path to take. Our hopes for the happiness of our people lie in your hands. Here, the Zenithian Helm is now yours. And we got the Zenithian Helm. Alright. Uh, well, let me... Equip that real quick. Well, I want to praise it first. This kingdom could use Silvando, that's true. Gorgeous! Part of the legendary Zenithian equipment, of course. It hardly looks like it covers your head at all, but there's no need to bother yourself. The divine power of Zenithia will protect you from any and every attack like. Of course, it is only a great hero such as yourself who could wear it. And no trader would give you a price for it. It's far too rare like. Alright, let's equip that. Alright, so we have one piece of Zenithian equipment. Well, that's grand. Looks like I'm all done here then, doesn't it? I think I'll go back to my traveling if it's all the same to you. Best of luck now, Solo. I hope it works out for you and your friends. Keep smiling, eh? Alright. Alright, so we have a lead on the shield. It's in Famiscura. Um, path is blocked, but we have the Magma Staff that can get there, so... But remember, Silvando wanted to make the world smile, but knew that he couldn't do that until he saved the world from evil. That's sort of the same theme that Silvando had and that Tom Foolery had, you know? All right, let me uh, fix this. Montel Williams once dated Kamala Harris. Oh my God. Montel banged the vice president. <laughs> I think I have 15 mini medals now, don't I? He was in six. I'm not sure about five, but he was definitely in six. Six is a prequel, so that was probably like, you know, his ancestor. But he was, I don't remember him being in five. All right, so I'll show you how we get to Themyscira. Actually, before I even try that, let me uh, see. 15 mini medals, all right, yeah. So let me go ahead and zoom over to Minikin's Domain, and see if we can get a prize. I believe we get a prize for 15 mini medals. And Minikin's Domain is actually near Femiscara, so it works out. Welcome to my domain. I'm a collector of mini medals which are said to be scattered all over the world. Splendid! I see you have some mini medals with you. Let me be examining them, my friends. 
That makes sense for Donahue. I, I mean, come on. That takes the number of mini medals you've gotten me to 15 solo. Congratulations, you give me 15 mini medals, which means I can administer a strength ring as a reward. Yay. All right, what's next? 20 mini medals for the ruby of protection. Okay. Strength ring. Pretty dope shit. Let's, uh, first we'll, uh, uh appraise it. Hmm. It is some kind of accessory. Just wearing it enough is like to make it quite a bit stronger. It is not fussy, this one. Anyone can wear it, including myself. I fetch about 660 gold coins if you sold it in a shop. Alright, I think I'm gonna give that to uh, Ragnar. Since he's all about strength anyway. Make him more of what he already is. Now, let me just get some of this mapped out, since this is the direction I'm going anyway. There we go. Okay. That's a dungeon that we'll do at some point. Alright, we got incinerators. The quality of the puns and enemy names varies wildly. Incinerator is kind of on the lower end. No, I don't. I never saw. I never watched Geraldo. I remember him opening uh, um, the safe. That was pretty whack. He had Al Capone's safe, and he made a big deal out. Last few minutes of the show, he finally opens it, and there was basically nothing interesting in it. All right, we got Beleth's new enemy. Put him to sleep. That's the great thing about the Dream Swords. Every successful strike has a chance to put an enemy to sleep. The fun's starting? Oh, no. What's going on over there, Wraith? All right, Elena's level 23. All right, uh, I think I might be able to get it... Well, I gotta go down that direction anyway. Alright, Belleth, and a Belleth. Uh, let me throw out Boom here to maybe help. Hopefully they don't use Bounce right away. Oh. Ow. Hopefully it just passes you right by and no issues. Oh, they shrug that shit off. Damn. Might just attack. Might heal after this for sure, though. Alright, he's confused. Ooh, still hit me, though. Bop, 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 bop. He hit himself. Nice. Alright, Ragnar is level 20. The fun has begun. Hopefully it's all super minor shit. Grim Riders. And they're gonna go ahead and attack. Good thing I'm healed. These guys hit pretty hard. Uh, let's throw out Sizzle. Nice. It only missed one of them, so that's not too bad. Called in a uh, skeleton of some sort, a skeleton soldier. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Got him. All right. Definitely heal up. Slime, he's going first, so he doesn't run. Ah, I couldn't do anything about that. Damn, that would have been cool. Alright, so we just have to get the magma staff and use it as an item. Solo uses the magma staff.
Boom, baby. It's when you remember what the DS can actually do, right? Very cool. It's subsiding. And you could retrieve it, which is good because, like I said, Maya was using that as a weapon. To make sure to give it back to her. It's like the key to Mordor. Alright, one second. Uh, uh, uh. Alright! And here we are for Miskara Castle. Welcome to Femiskara Castle. It's been a long, long time since we've had any visitors. Only women are allowed to live here in the castle. Our queen is too beautiful for men to bear. Look at this guy. That was close. If you come a second later, you'd have caught me in the act. I know I shouldn't really, but... Well, there are only women toilets inside, so what's a man to do? Fair enough. If they don't have a bathroom you could use, you gotta go outside, right? Like, what, <laughs> what can you really do? It's funny, and then he became such a chud, right? Oh, look, travelers! So is the path clear again now, then? That's good news. It's been a real pain ever since the eruption blocked it off. Definitely want to stay at the inn. We'll see what kind of equipment they got here. I mean, not just yet, but I will. Don't think you can get up to any tricks just because this castle is defended by women. I'm twice the woman any man is. I mean, twice the man any woman... No, I mean, twice as strong as any man. There you go, you, you nailed it. I came here to preach word of the goddess. The queen gave me a bronze rosary in recognition of my valuable work. I don't have many worldly possessions, but it is the one I treasure the most. Ah, oh, seed of wisdom. Oh, hello. Let me help you out here. Just take a butcher's knife from that chest of drawers. You won't regret it. I think I'm going to regret it. Nothing special. All right, let me go ahead and use the uh, Seed of Wisdom. Sad serpents are definitely not allowed in here. No silly snakes, no stupid snakes, no sad snakes. You there, what are you doing in there? Nothing. Dear God, it's my bronze rosary. Help, someone help. There's a gang of thieves in here. Uh, not so much. This is supposed to happen, don't worry. Thieving inside the castle? The cheek of it. There's nowhere for you to run. Come quietly. I mean, you could just check my possessions and see I don't have the... Ah, whatever. This is supposed to happen. No depressed dergs? <laughs> I've never met a depressed derg, but I've met a silly snake. I just really wonder what the hell is wrong with me that I was ever friends with that guy. Now, now him and the man with the fake name can hang out, drink shitty beer, eat bad chili, and uh, compare their tattoos of Mickey Mouse blowing himself. Follow me. Her Majesty has summoned you. Yeah, like I said, this is all supposed to happen. I am the Queen of Femiscara. I decide the fate of those accused of crime in my queendom. This testimony states that you stole the bronze rosary of a nun working in my castle. Is the testimony correct? It is not. But a woman of the goddess has given a sworn testimony that she caught you in the act. And you still claim your innocence despite the overwhelming evidence against you? I mean, there's really no evidence at all. If you search my belongings, you will find that I do not have it. I'll even let you reach up my asshole. Promise you, there's no uncomfortable hunk of bronze metal in my dick. Well, if you are innocent, who is the criminal responsible and where is he? I'm a fair queen. I will give you a chance. If you wish to prove your innocence, find the real perpetrator and bring him to me. Yo, imagine if the criminal justice system was like this. Everything would suck a lot worse than it already does. There is one condition, though. You must leave one of your party behind as a surety. Guards, take one of these people and lock them in the cells. Very well, you may go. It's the two-armed man. Mina will remain behind in our custody, then. Her Majesty has ordered me to let you exchange the detainee for another member of your party at any time. Yeah, we, we want Mina with us. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh, no, no, we don't want Mina with us. We have Maya. Alright, that's fine, then. I would rather they took Borea, but... Well, maybe maybe since they took somebody that was in the wagon, I can tell them to take Borea. Because Mina's healing might come in handy. You want to swap the Tutani for another of your party, do you? Yeah, take Borea. Very well. I'm taking Borea into custody, then. Mina, you're free to return to your wagon. It was the two-armed man. That reminds me of a joke that Jonathan Katz had, where he said, uh, Yeah, when I was young, my parents took me to a freak show, but it was a budget one. They had a bearded man. The Lord of the Underworld is a man, isn't he? Then he'll probably go easy on us women, won't he? Not so much. He, only, he prefers the company of elves. It was a joke. No, it was a jo joke from Jonathan Katz's stand-up act from, like, the early 90s. I don't want any old man. My man needs to be tough and strong and butch. Yeah, it's tough enough to enjoy a good wrestle sometimes. Ha ha ha. Hey, Ragnar, uh, I think she's talking to you. Oh, definitely stole it, right? Hmm, a mini metal. Smashy, smashy. Hmm? What's that? You want to know where a thief might hide out? Well, a cave would be my first choice, I should think. Not that I know, of course. It is also possible that, yeah, it was a man with six fingers on his right hand. And a sword made especially for him. Somewhere, somewhere in this world is a staff of incredible magic. Yes, the lightning staff. As a sorceress, I have to know. I must see for myself just how powerful its magic really is. So there's actually a cave south of here, which is where our next uh, goal is. All right, let's see about equipment. Looks like they only have an armor shop. I don't see any weapon shop. It's fine. That movie with Harrison Ford that was based on a TV show, but not The Prisoner. Um, what other movie was Harrison Ford in that was based on a TV show? No, not, not the... He wasn't in The Prisoner. The Fugitive is what you're thinking of. Alright. They don't really have much here except for the pink leotard, which I could get for Maya, Elena, and Mina. It's a bit on the pricey side. I'll get one for Maya now since I am actually using her. So give that to Maya. Yeah, the Fugitive. Alright, let me go ahead and sell off some stuff here. Uh, let's see. His Iron Helmet. Iron, iron mask, rather, not iron helmet. He does have an iron helmet, though. I saw that. Okay, so her robe of serenity, we can sell that. It's unique, but I'm going to sell it. Since anybody that can use it can also use the leotard, which is better. Anything in here? I, don't, I doubt it. Well, plain clothes, I could sell that. Hey, Azoth! All right, uh, how much money do I have? Enough. I have enough for another pink leotard. All right, so we'll get that for, for Mina. I'm doing all right. Bad headache today, though. All right, and we'll sell her iron armor. All right, so we'll we'll need more of those. Um, I have golden tiaras, but we don't need that. We'll need one more for Elena. Uh, probably have enough after I do the dungeon. I'm not using Elena right now, anyway. And for the fun of it, let's have our friend Tarniko Taloon appraise the pink leotard. Phew, is it getting hot? Or is it just me? What's your look? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Got a little flustered, so I did. Tis a bit of armor for the ladies, this. Despite the obvious lack of uh, substance, as it were, it's a handy item, and a bit racy if I'm honest. Maya, Elena, and Mina can be equipped with it. Me? Are you wise? Tisn't for a fella. Ask stupid questions like that, and I might, though. So mind yourself. Uh, so he's like, can I wear it? Bitch, if you keep asking me dumb questions like that, I might try. Alright. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, I'm not quite done here. Because I, I was down in the dungeon on that side, but I didn't go downstairs on this side. <laughs> Can you just imagine Tornico in that thing? Oh, we don't have the ability to get in there yet. That's actually, actually, I think that's the, the Zenithian shield. All right, let's head down to the cave. Prove our innocence. Chicken poxer. Yeah, the headache sucks. I'm hoping it clears up, but, you know. All right, we got Aoraptors, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bab, not bang, but boom into the mix. Put his ass to sleep with a 69. And then killed him with a 68. Alright, Ternico put all of them to sleep. That's pretty dope. Okay. Alright, let's rock and roll, baby. This. Oh. We got Waruses. Three of them, and I get a free turn. It's a free turn, I'm just gonna attack. No magic. Put his ass to sleep. Waruses. Where are riddle at? Wait, not that way. Alright, two Grim Riders and a Chilonodon. Throw up, boom. Now, the Grim Riders hit pretty hard. The Chilonodons have the ability to hit hard, but they don't do it too often. They usually do their weak ice breath attack. There we go. We playing any of the Dragon Warrior monsters? Actually, no. I would like to um, stream that series one day. Because they seem like really cool games. It's basically like if Dragon Quest was Pokemon. And there's a lot of them, too. Not all of them were released here, but I think there's fan translations for a bunch of them. Oh, wrong way. All right, more walruses. I'm gonna throw in sizzle. Yeah, one of these days I gotta like do that. Maybe for a series Saturday or Sunday, you know. Got him. Ragnar, hero Ragnar on Elena. And who else? Oh, always the same. Well, who, who is the, uh... The, I change it up based on what I'm doing. Like, for bosses, I prefer to have a different team. At the end, I like to have both sisters. I always use Tornico, though. Hmm. Alright, we got a Seed of Strength. Go ahead and use that. Oh, wrong button. I mean, Tornico's just too good. He might do crits, he might put enemies to sleep, make them laugh, he steals items. This is really great. Alright, AO Raptors. And when he attacks, it's really good attack. He's got good stats. He's not as strong as Ragnar, but he's stronger than Elena. And his crit rate is pretty comparable to Elena. Alright, so I gotta get over there now. Uh, okay, I see where I'm going. Air Raptors again. All right. Nice. I think I think Tornico uh, he might have stolen something there. It's roguelike. I didn't know that. No, he didn't steal something. It was just a crit.
All right. So, it almost sounds like Dragon Quest IX with the grottos. Yeah, Maya's great with the magic. All right, four dollars. There's some boss battles where you really want to have Kirill, you know. I just used him a little bit earlier to beat uh, Marquis de Leon. Alright, Chilonodons, and they're all different configurations, so I'll probably throw out uh, a boom spell to help with that. Damn! Fucked him up. Uh, Tornico's Mustering Strength, that's pretty cool. Ragnar is good if you want somebody that is tanky, too. There we go. Alright, we got a uh, Humbaba. Alright, two Spitfires. Seed of Resilience, or as I like to call it, the Snail. Resilience up by three. So many paths, you know. All right, a Spitfire. All right, I have to go further down, but I want to get those other chests. Who the hell would buy something stupid like that? I got more money than sense. All right, two Humbabas and a uh, bulldozer. Right? You got more money than you got brain cells. Oh god. Ah, he got Ragnar. Get out of here. The bulldozer. Wasn't that Bull Dotrieve's nickname in, in high school? Iron Mask, that's pretty useless at this point, but okay, we can sell it. We had a Humbada, a Humbaba, a Belleth, and another Humbaba. Make sure we definitely get this Belleth. Oh, his Bulldozer, yeah, that makes sense, wouldn't be Bulldozer. The Bulldozer! Put his ass to sleep. Yeah, it doesn't pay to try to uh, dazzle bosses. I think that's it for treasures. All right, two Spitfires. You know, if you're playing the NES version, it's completely different because all the party members, except for the main character, are AI. So you have to use who's gonna, you know, have better AI. Like, definitely Tornico had really great AI. Um, Kirill had really bad AI. Oh, there's that one. Shit. Yeah, alright. Two Bellas, two Bulldozers. Maybe I should get that on the way out, or should I grab it now? Oh, no! That's gonna hurt. That wasn't too bad. Oria's AI, it wasn't even bad. He liked to abuse magic, though. The problem is that Kirill would always go for the instant death skills, and they don't work all that often, and he would even do them to enemies that are like completely immune, like bosses. And 
he would just do it over and over and over again. He would just spam it. His his big super tag in Dragon Quest Heroes kind of made fun of him always casting Thwack and missing. All right, Tornico's level 25. Maya's level 24. Oh, this, this. Oh, it was right south of that other one. Damn it. All right, let me grab it now. Because if I try to grab, if I try to go, I'll grab it on the way out. I might, I might forget. All right, a bulldozer and a walrus. Remember hearing about some game where you can one-shot the final boss with instant death attacks? That would probably be the PlayStation 2 version of Dragon Quest V. You could also run from the final boss and win that way. A dragon shield. Definitely glad I, I uh, bothered to get that. Alright, let's see. Uh, probably gonna give that to Ragnar. I mean, this hero could use it, but he's going to get the Zenithian shield anyway. Let me go ahead and uh, do this. Mm, tis, a sol tis a shield made from the skin and scales of a dragon. It can stand up to wild changes in temperature, so it'll serve you against fire or ice attacks, for example. Solo and Ragnar can be equipped with it. It doesn't look like I'd equip myself with it. Well, I've never played a Star Ocean game. Alright, Belleths. Damn! Nice hit. And they're rather fond of that bounce spell. Star Ocean 2 is what? PlayStation? Oh, yeah? What do they got? A bulldozer and a belleth. Star Wars is definitely on the list of things that I want to go through. I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Where'd you post it, Alice? You know, it's being slow. Alright, let me know when it's posted and where to look. almost done with this, but still, just to be safe. <laughs> smashy, smashy. Alright, we got some holy water. Hmm, mini metal miniature medallion. Nothing. We got Mercury's bandana. Just some kind of accessory. Equip yourself with this to lighten your load and speed yourself up. I can use it, you can use it, anyone can use it. It'd fetch about 487 gold coins if you sold it in a shop. The Necrogond? Uh, wait, that's Dragon Quest 3. It's something similar to that, though. Alright, so actually what I'd like to do is I'm going to give this to our slowest character. Give him a bit of a speed bump. And then I'll take Ragnar's strength ring and give it to Solo. There we go. Kirk Buzzer's Diary. Keep out. Day three, month of the dragon. The time's finally come to get me hands dirty at Femisci... Femisci... Uh, Femiscira. What, what I'm after is that the Zenithian shield they reckon they've got hidden somewhere in the castle. He writes like this. If I manage to get me mitts on that, it's like it's like looking at like Scottish Twitter. I'll be like that legendary bandit himself, Robin Hood. Corblimey, that'll be the day. Day five, month of the dragon. 
I snuck myself into Famiscara Castle, but that Zenithian shield weren't nowhere to be seen. The only thing I managed to swipe was some measly rosary. That ain't a good day's loot in no one's book. I cannot wonder about them bars, mind. Huh. I've had enough of this for one day. Time for some shut-eye. Alright, let me check this out. Tyramisaurus Rex. That's fucking fantastic! Wow. He's in a deep sleep. A bronze rosary is hanging around his neck. Haha, <laughs> what are you lot doing in here? Come after me, have you? Well, I'm afraid I can't get caught that and caught that easy. You don't need me no choice. It's Fisticuff's time for you. Alright, Kirk Buzzer appears. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna, like, fucking go ham on this dude. Just like I did with Balzac. Crackle. Alright, whatever. Yeah, the sprites don't always match. He's buffing himself, and I don't have a sap, so it looks like Maya's gonna be doing most of the damage. Unless Tornika wants to crit. Oh! Okay, Ragnar can crit too, damn. Mustering. Since he's mustered his strength, it's probably good to defend. He's unlikely to hit her, though. Yeah, he hit Ragnar. Okay. So Ragnar would have taken a lot more damage, but I did defend against. Oh, wait, hold on. Heal Ragnar. He's done. Alright, Solo's level 23, and learned BOOM, baby! Ragnar's level 21. And I got a Seed of Agility. Blimey, I, I was wrong, and I'm sorry and all that. Now you forgive me, right? Nice work, Solo. I'm impressed. Her Majesty ordered me to follow you. She asked that I help you if you were in any trouble. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka! He's on fire! But enough chit-chat. Now I must take this disgrace of a man back to the castle. I trust you'll be along soon, Solo. Until then. Alright, so let's uh, use that Seed of Agility that I got. And let me see if I can evac out. There we go. All right, we got three Grim Riders. Yeah, once he did that buff, he was like, oh, glad I have Maya with me. Called in a skeleton warrior. I saw a post about that on Facebook earlier. It was like, man, they space it out just enough that I'm always like, do I like this? No, no, I don't. It tastes like earlobe meat. The only good thing to say about the McRib is, well, there's two good things, I guess. One is that the sauce is fairly decent. It covers up the low quality of the meat. Uh, the second thing is they do give you some, some delicious Vidalia onions with it to cover up the flavor of the meat. Uh... You know what? Let me just go up here. They don't, like, have an inn here, I don't think. You know what? I haven't actually explored around up here. Let me do that. Her Majesty the Queen has to act stern for appearance's sake, but she's a gentlewoman at heart. Never a butch, yeah. That was a spoof of the McRib, for sure. It's a shame, really. If she hadn't been born a queen, her compassion could have really shown through. 
Hey, look at that, a seat of agility. And a leather dress. Okay, let me use that seat of agility real quick. Well, it's just because it doesn't come out that often, so people forget what it tastes like and they all rush to get it. Like I said, the sauce is good, right? The meat, not so good. They put some nice onions in it, the bun ain't bad. It's just that it's really low quality pork. This is Her Majesty's dressing room. She's got more pretty outfits than you could weave a stick at. Don't quit touching them with those dirty hands of yours. All right, cool. I knew you were innocent right from the start. It's women's intuition, you see. I'm sure Her Majesty the Queen knew too. Ah, Solo, so you were successful in tracking down the real thief. I heard all about it. One of my guards filled me in. So your companion is, of course, free to go. This key will give you access to the cells. And we now have the ultimate key, which is going to give us access to a lot of things. And I wish you to have the Zenithian shield, which can be found beneath the castle as a token of sisterhood between Femiscara and yourselves. My people in the castle inform me that you were on a quest to defeat the Lord of the Underworld. Well, there is a place called Rose Hill to the south of this continent where monsters once lived. Perhaps you will learn something useful there, but hurry. Remember, time and tide wait for no woman. So, that's like sort of our next, uh, wait, hold on. I never went in there. Uh, our next sort of, like, lead is to go to Rose Hill. Some say it's just an old husband's tale, but it's gospel truth. It was when Her Majesty's grandmother was still a young girl. Then the King of Berlin tried to woo her by giving her a precious treasure known as the Zenithian Shield. But no queen of ours would fall for a stunt like that, of course. Oh, no, no, no. But she still kept the shield. Well, I wonder. I suppose it must still be in the castle somewhere. Nothing. I'm cataloging all the different rumors there are about the Lord of the Underworld and his resurrection. The prophecy of the hero who's supposed to defeat him. The legend of the dragon god who resides in Zenithia up in the sky. And the tale about a woman who swept down from heaven and gave birth to a child near Casabranca. That's me, I'm the child. I'll have it all arranged in a neat little story soon, I hope. Yeah, you should call it Chapters of the Chosen. Nothing? Or whatever, what was the Japanese title? It was like the Faded Ones, I think. My Quest for the Magical Staff, Chapter 5. After all that, I didn't manage to find the Magical Staff. I did find a hidden staircase and a treasure chest in the cave, mind you. But in the chest was on the other side of some bars, and right before my eyes, and yet impossible to reach. I have no choice but to give up on that chest now and set off again in search of a different magical staff. I wonder if I'll ever be able to give this job, give up this job, and do something else. I want to give her a bowl of my old moss stew. I am Rowan the Wandering Wandsman. By the Tsar of Samoskis' ardors, I'm traveling the world in search of a magical staff. Oh yeah, that would be cool. Nothing there. Reading while standing up is prohibited. Why? Somebody explain that one to me. Is it, there's no, like, in here, is there? Oh, there is. It's over there. Okay. I gotta make sure I get Borya out of the cell, too. <laughs> Can't leave him here. Alright, um, so we wanted to get one more pink leotard for, uh, Elena. No, we're good. Alright, let's go get Borya out of the cell, and then we'll pick up the Zenithian shield. This way, yeah. <laughs> You're leaving us now, are you? I'll miss you. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, good luck. It is disgrace that these people treat us as common thieves. I wish to leave this stinking place without a moment's delay. See you later, Borya. I don't believe it. Oh, I never came unstuck before, not once. You know, I heard there were th three rooms under the castle here, but I didn't never find the last one. It's always eluded me, little blighter. I got into a fight with one of the girls guarding the castle, and lost. Too embarrassed to talk about it. You've got to believe me. I wouldn't touch anything like that. Not dresses. It's not right. Nobody cares, dude. I mean, I guess they cared. The guided one. That's what it is. <laughs> Man. 
there we are, the Zenithian Shield. Right. Go ahead and appraise it. Ah! Part of the legendary Zenithian equipment, so it is. Aye, this shield will give you protection from all manner of calamities. It goes without saying, I suppose, that only a great hero such as yourself can equip it. And I'm guessing it'd be far too dear for a normal shop to trade in. I'm gonna give it to him. Alright, we have the Zenithian shield. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. This way. We'll head to, uh,. I guess to Rose Hill, right? Or, um... Yeah, I guess I'll head to Rose Hill. Well, actually, you know what? Before I do anything like that, let's start zooming around looking for, um... I've got a... Doors to open, right? Well, it's not just that the Zenithian equipment is the best equipment, but it lets you go to Zenithia Castle up in the clouds. You know, basically heaven. Start with Nadri. So here's it. You know what's interesting though is that the underworld in this is called Neridia, I believe. Um, but you know what's interesting, is, or, or Nadiria, I forget which one it is. But anyway, what's what's really cool is that there's a theory that um, Dragon Quest six, VI, four, and five, that trilogy, right, started when the hero, the luminary in Dragon Quest eleven broke the sword of light to go back in time and that they basically reforged it kind of like like lord of the rings you know when they reforged isildur's sword um and it became the zenithian sword all right so let's see yeah we have some treasures to get here why is it in the remakes of three you have the open spell i uh, i don't know Probably because it was there, right? Yeah, but but really, I, I think it's an Adiria, actually. Yeah, there's an underworld called that. Dragon Quest loves its wordplay. Four dollars. We got a prayer ring. Prayer rings are really useful. Hmm. Mini metal. Hmm. I believe that's it for here. But yeah, they call Heaven Zenithia in this trilogy. Uh, okay, so let's zoom to Endor. Alright, um... Now there's a way to get in... I forget how to do it, though. There's a way to get there, and I think it might be through the castle. No, I, th I think it, it's just in there because it was in there originally, and they just didn't want to remove it, I guess. Yeah, let me go to the castle. The, the kind of doors that this key opens are usually found in castles. Alright. Oh, well, there's this. I mean, but he comes to the thing, though. Watch out for that bizarre on the man, Slayer. Hey, SPQ, what's going on, man? Man, I forget how to get there. Does anybody remember how to get to that... that other half there? There's a way to do it, but I don't remember to get to those treasures. In there. Oh, come on, guy. Because you see that there's staircases, one going down. I don't remember. The well? I don't think it's the well, but I'll check that. Oh, what's your uh, what's your appointment? I could check it. 
Nah, it's one of those really empty wells. There's nothing there. Let me Google it. I don't remember. I'm just gonna type Endor Treasures. It is through the castle. Okay. It is through the castle. It's just I was in the wrong part of the castle. So I was thinking that it's access through the castle, but... Yeah, so you go in here. And then down here. And this will lead to it. Gotta walk through this muck. Here we are. Nothing. Nothing. And we got a double-edged sword. <laughs> double-edged sword's a pretty interesting weapon. Now there's a quaker of a blade for you. I can hardly tear my eyes away from it. But it has as much bite with it as it has beauty. So be careful with it now. Solo and Ragnar can be equipped with it. It doesn't look like I can equip myself with it. So, the way the double-edged sword works is it's pretty powerful, right? It does a lot of damage, but it, but it's sort of the opposite of the spiked armor. It does some of the damage back to you. So I prefer not to use it. Quadruple-edged sword. Mmm, mm, miniature medallion. And we got a nice seed of strength, or as I call it, the Brazil nut. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Smashy, smashy. And we don't have to go back through the poison because we can just, uh, what? <laughs> Hop off the roof. 100 handy hints to a healthy piggy bank. Try to look down when you're out walking. If you spot some money, put it in your pocket. Sell any lost property you find back to the shops. Never lend money to other people. Money lent is money spent. You'll never get it back. You should be the one doing the borrowing. Barter as much as you can when shopping. Reduce the shopkeeper to tears or tantrums if you must. It's not cursed, it just... It just damages you. It's just that way it works. Anything to get your item at half price. If Because if it was cursed, Ternico would have said he felt there was something off about it. Oh, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here and leave us alone, will you? Fair enough. So I actually could have gotten that before. I didn't need the ultimate key for that. Alright, let's head to Bath. Bath. I don't think there's any ultimate key doors in Bath, but I'm going to check. Actually, well, they have a replica of the Zenithian armor there, but it's not like, yeah, it's guarded by a nun, and it's not the real thing, so. I feel like there is a dungeon in Bath, though, now that I think of it. Hmm. I could be wrong. I don't see anything like that. Alright, hey, hold on. What about back here? No. Alright. All right, let me zoom over to Porthrunnel. Actually, yeah, you're right. It's it's not a Dragon Quest game unless you go... Well, I guess Dragon Quest 1 didn't have that. Oh, no, it did, because you would buy the keys. Why am I going here? There's no reason to go in here. I think this might be another one where there's, like, nothing to see, but I'm just checking every town. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Sword of the Master. It's cursed with the spirit that will drive the wielder mad with its constant cries of, Hey! Listen! Oh, boy. Uh... Mintos? I'll try Mintos. Yeah, they were magic keys that would open any door but then disappear. Alright. I don't think there's much here. Yeah, there's nothing here, I don't think. Alright. I'm just checking each one, each town. There's no reason not to, really. All right, Parthenia. I believe there's Parthenia's got a cast. No, wait, Parthenia doesn't have a cast. That's the poor kingdom, isn't it? Where they're like farmers and shit. Yeah, ain't gonna be nothing here. Nah, fuck Parthenia. Parthenia ain't shit. Oh, damn it. All right, Palais de Lyon. Allium keys, that must be why. Alright, there might be uh, ultimate key doors in here somewhere. Well, there's this one, but this guy's in the way. And I've already been in there. 
so it's no big deal. Maybe not, there's no like dungeon here except for uh through there. And we already did that, so But you know where I think um Havre Leon is nearby and that certainly has stuff to go to. And I know there's a dungeon in Havre Leon. The problem is, I believe Havre Leon's where they keep kicking you out every time they see you. No, maybe not. It's a different place. Listen here. I heard there's some Master of Darkness geezer pulling the strings behind that marquee regent, Balzac. I already killed Balzac, but okay. And then I know, I say an even human. Smashy, smashy, mini metal. Oh, yeah. It would be in shambles. Smashy, smashy. Got a seat of strength. Uh, wait, who's carrying it? You are. All right. I wonder if that prophet is here near the coast is still there. Yep, I already talked to him. Uh, uh. Smashy, smashy. I don't have the mini metal. Hmm. Okay, um, I don't think there's anything in laissez-faire. I think I'm pretty caught up, except for like, maybe Zamaska and Kanala. Let me go there. Yeah, what did Umara do? But maybe in the town. I don't think in the town, but I'll check. I should also check Valley Moral at some point. Yeah, I already looked at everything in here now that I come to think of it. All I needed was the magic key. Um, alright. Just look at my map here real quick. Yeah, because we're going to want to go to, um... I don't actually have Ballymoral on my Zoom list, so I'm going to head there now to check it, and also to add it to the Zoom list. And then we'll go to Rose Hill. We got a Malrus. Next Festivus, you can send him a company of Atlas Shardin. Oh dear. Atlas Shrugged and then Shitted and Farted. Here's actually some more towns I can add to the list, but I'm not worried about them. It's Valley Moral I wanted to go to, which is. Ain't it somewhere around here? Wait, no. Hold on, let me look at the map again. Oh yeah, it is there. It's just nestled in the mountains. There it is. Alright, Carnivines and Winksters. Really weak enemies. Just because uh, there's a lot of them, I'll throw out boom. Problem is it's night time. Yeah, well, I've, I've been here since chapter three, so. Don't tell me when to come. Yeah, there's a dungeon over there. These kinds of doors are usually in. 
This is where they kick you out. Oh, I got in there. Oh, being in jail is just so boring. I wonder how Cook Pass is doing. He was a mate of mine back in my thieving days. He's in jail too now. Go, 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 go. Smashy, smashy. Oh, that's cow shit. Watch out, watch out. Smashy, smashy. Alright, we got a seat of life. If you, if you appraise the cow, I'm in her. I, I already did it once, but it's really funny. Check it out. For the love of... What are you sticking that in my face? It is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Now get up the yard with it. Oh, I missed one over there. Wait, wait. Nothing, huh? Oh, there's one over there, too. Shit. A chocolate teapot. I can't see shit. A seed of magic. And there's one there, too. I keep seeing more every time I think I've done. Seed of magic, aka the walnut. That's what I call it, anyway. Oh, I don't think I'll make it all in one shot. I have to go around. Alright, we got it. A mini medal. <laughs> now it doesn't matter if they catch me. Oh, wait. Oh, they don't throw you out now? Maybe it's only in chapter three. Shit. I was being all sneaky for nothing. <laughs> Whatever. We got the thing. Uh, how many mini medals is that? It's 23, so that's enough to get that. I think he said it was the ruby protection. <laughs> So let's head over to Minikin's domain now. And I'm gonna want to go in that cave fairly soon. But first, let me do this. And we'll go to Rose Garden. Uh, Rose, Rose Hill, not Rose Garden. I think it's because of the political climate changing with the, the Prince of Ballymoral and the Princess of Endor marrying. All right, we got the Ruby of Protection. And the next one is at 25, so only two more. We'll get a Magical Skirt. Okay. So the Ruby of Protection, here we go. Hmm. Tis some kind of accessory. Wear on this or easier defensible for what it is normally like. There is nothing about it that would stop anyone wearing it, even me. All right. So, oh, oh damn it. All right, so we're gonna give it to her since she's the one with the lowest defense that I'm using in the open party right now. Uh, it's also good for Elena, since she has low defense if you're using Elena. Okay, so, um... Rose Hill. It's not actually that far from here. Just kind of... Sneak your way in here. Oh, not that one. This one. And down this way. Oh, I'm trying to get off. And then he changed his name to Balzac. An Octophant. Good night. Sleep tight. You white. And Kirill's level 22. Just pop over there. And this is it. This is Rose Hill. The town of monsters. You ain't shit. You're right. 
There was a young elf girl here called Rose. She was very special. When she cried, her tears turned into rubies. And because the wicked humans were always trying to capture her for her tears, she used to cry an awful lot. <laughs> ah, ah, poor Rose. Ah. If Lord Bazaar were to save her, she'd be dead by now. Killed by the humans. Ah. <laughs> the whole story of Rose is, is a bummer. They say the ruby tears from an elf's eyes are full of that elf's desires. That must be why humans can never get their hands on the rubies, because the elf doesn't want them to. So this guy sells all sorts of things, let's see, for weapons. So they have the battle axe. Falcon knife earrings are weak. They do hit twice, but they're pretty fucking weak. They're really good for Mina, but I can't quite afford it just now. Let me see about selling some stuff, though. I've been hoarding stuff for a bit. Let's see, like, we got this iron shield. I can sell that. And we've got a iron mask. The man in the iron mask. Hmm. And also this leather dress. We'll sell that. Okay, let's see. You have something, right? The double-edged sword. I don't want it. I don't care that it's unique. I don't want it. It, it damages you to use it. You've got an iron shield. Alright, Cloak of Evasion. Sell that. Step one is collect underpants. Step two... Step three is profit. Alright, that's everything I can sell. So that gives me enough. They also have the Dragon's Bane here, which is a really good sword, but as you can see, it's also really expensive. But that gives me enough to buy one Falcon Knife Earring for Mina. That's the only person I'd use it for is for Mina. She doesn't get that many great weapons, you know? And she gets more out of it than anyone else, and it hits twice, so we'll sell her Somatic Staff. Welcome to Rose Hill, home of the dwarfs, and a fine place it is to live, too. And this is where he sells Ama. Ama hot dogs. So, the big thing here is they have the magic vestment. And that's pretty good for both, as you can, well, really just for Kirill. Uh, Dragon Mail is here. But as you can see, it's slightly better than what Ragnar has, so we'll want to get one of those at one point. But really, just those two one magic vestment for Kirill, one Dragon Mail for Ragnar. I came here looking for an elf who said to cry rubies instead of tears. Would you believe it? Ruby tears! Just imagine how rich you'd be if you could catch the little blighter. What a piece of shit. You have to make her cry. The elves used to live in a little village in the northwest called Straithbale. That's why it's Straithbale, because she used to... Yeah, the, it's, it's, it was the elven town, that's what it is. It must have been a terrible time for their kind. That's, that's why you get the, the dreams there. Uh, let me talk to him first. I'm not lying, it's true. When it gets dark at night, a pretty girl comes to the window at the top of that tower. I keep telling everyone, but no one believes me. That's not fair. Ooh. Uh, let's just hope that it all blows by. Ah, 80 degrees though, damn. That's, and with a cold front coming, that is a recipe for disaster. I right, got myself a poison needle that I definitely don't want. I'll sell it. A human man came to our village not long ago, actually, to set up a shop, you know? You humans are devils when it comes to business. Capitalism. I knew there was a reason why it was Strafe Bell. I just couldn't remember if the game told you the reason. Uh, let me catch him over here. Uh, here's where he sells items, but I just want to sell something to him. The poison needle that I have no use of. We know how to get in there properly, but I want to go this way first. It's not just you humans who have to worry. If Lord of the Underworld comes back to life, us dwarfs will be wiped out too. It's dwarves, sir. Don't you read Tolkien? There's no need to worry. Lord of the Underworld will save all of us. 
The great Lord Pizarro made me brainy. Now I bark human. Meow meow. I ordered Pizarro everything. He perfected the secret of evolution. He made us animals more perceptive and clever. Hmm. A mini metal. Lord Pizarro built this tower. He's very prudent. Apparently he built a secret room into the tower somewhere in case of a war. They say he keeps something unbelievable in there, too. Yeah, his girlfriend. Who we're gonna visit? So you just gotta stand here and use the flute. Which I think you have it. Yes, you do. Why, so the animals can tell him no in English? what we saw in the dream in Straithvale. It starts playing Rose's theme. Oh, we gotta fight the Rose Garden Knight, though. Humans, you are not forbidden in this place. Prepare for a thrashing. Oh, if I remember correctly, this guy's a massive shitter. Alright. No, 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 no. The dream was how to get into the tower. Oh god, it didn't. He just shrugged it off. I'll try it again. Oh, alright. Alright, didn't affect Maya. Alright, we got him. Alright. He wants a thrashing. We'll play some Slayer. That makes sense. I right, called him. I think a chill a note on. I'm sure we kill it before it starts with the ice breath. Oh, put him to sleep. Okay. That doesn't matter, though. There, he's dead. Yo, am I just OD? Anyone looking? When you fought Pizarro as a super boss in Dragon Quest Heroes, there were two of these guys with him, and they were practically invincible. It made the fight very difficult. Nice crit. That was a lot of damage. He called it another Chilonodon. we get this guy. Oof! We have to heal for Nico. Alright. That sucked. Oh, we got him. I was gonna say that sucked because it fizzled solo when he was trying to heal. But we win. Not the easiest boss, for sure, but we got him. Solo's level 24. Tornico's level 26. Ragnar's level 22. Maya's level 25. Elena's level 24. A lot of level ups are happening. Boria's level 23. Boria learns Snoop. Oh, Snoop. Mina's level 23. Mina learns swoosh. And I got a Sphere of Silence, which you could use like just like he was using to um, basically give you the effect of uh, Fizzle. You, uh, you are forbidden to... Uh, Well, the battles are very fast-paced in this game, but yeah, no. Nah. He's not an easy boss. He was hitting me pretty hard, but I, I'm a little overpowered. I'll squish you if you do anything to Rose. What? You didn't come to hurt her? Oh, well, sorry I accused you. Now, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something good. There's a mod rod in the royal crypt on the bitter lands sticking out southwest of Endor. 
If you got the mod rod, you can go inside Diabolic Call where all the important monsters meet. That was what it was called, Diabolic Call. Huh, humans. But you're not like other humans. You seem friendly and kind. I can trust you not to hurt me, can't I? I'm Rose. Listen, I must tell you something. The world is... It's about to be destroyed by monsters. A man called Pizarro is behind it all. He's organizing them. Now he's calling himself Pizarro the Manslayer, and he's trying to use the secret of evolution to turn himself into something terrible. You must help us. You have to put a stop to Pizarro's wicked plan. I can't let him commit any more crimes. Oh, Pizarro. Ruby tears start to roll down Rose's cheeks. Solo catches the ruby tears. But as soon as they touch Solo's hand, the jewels shatter. Because she doesn't want you to have them. Dup, 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 dup. Dup. All right, that's our business here. And we learned about the location of the mod rod that can get us in Di Diabolic Hall. Which is by... I remember doing it in the NES version. You turn it... You keep using it until you turn like a monster, like a skeleton or something. And then you'd sneak into Pizarro's castle and there was this whole meeting of monsters. I just remember it being an amazing scene. But um, we got a few things to do before we do that. For example, right near Minikin's domain, there's that... Um, what do you call it? The... Uh, is that cave. We're gonna head in there. Um, I wanna heal up, though. I think there's an inn in Dominican's castle. Are those that have to, like, sail down a bath or zoom somewhere else? I think, like, up here? Oh, no, that's a Oh, wait! Let me go in this, actually. Hold up. I forgot about this. Because now you just freely do that. If you travel a long way southeast of here, you'll come to the Empire of Parthenia. Let me see where this goes. I forgot about the teleporters. And where does this put me? Oh, this is near Diab Diabolic Hall. That's how you get to Pizarro's castle. But we don't have the mod rods, so we're not ready to do that. That's what it's there for, okay. And this is, well, they said it's on the same continent as Parthenia, so. A modern rodern. <laughs> no, you know what, it's a mod rod, like it's really hip from the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, there isn't in here. And uh, I'm gonna take a bathroom break, guys. I gotta pee real quick. I won't be gone very long. Gibbs, don't go nuts. So all you do is you set Gunny off, and then my head starts hurting. You can stop. I just thought of something. It's Rod Stewart. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do that cave.
Alright, we got some hell spawn. Damn, you don't have to do them like that. Alright, you suck, sir. Good night, sleep tight, you what? There's actually nothing here. Okay. Alright, we got Securlitans. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nope! What'd I do? I have no idea what I had her do. Oh, I had her use a medicinal herb. Okay. And after this, I might have uh, more money for, like, the some of the expensive stuff at Rose. Uh, Rose Hill. Damn, they're doing a number on Solo, though. Terminator... Terminatators. Terminatators. It's one hell of a word, huh? Rod is a centrist British dude? Moderate Rodney? Oh. See, I thought it was like Rod the Mod, like Rod Stewart. <laughs> it could be any of these things, right? Moderate Rodney. Oh my god, that's too fucking funny. Wait, did I go... Yeah, there's nothing to do there. Okay. That's... Oh, it's gonna go up there. Freeze flies! Two of them. I think it's just, it, like, to be serious, it's funny, but to be serious, I think it, it's Modification Rod. Uh, okay, Ragnar is level 23. But I like, I like Moderate Rodney. I like that. Kirill's level 23. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was redacted. Alright, we're not getting very far there. See a treasure there. All right, we got two hell spawns. Yeah, I'm really shrugging that off, especially Solo and Ragnar. Solo's already got the Zenithian shield, which really cuts down the damage of fire and ice stuff. Fucking coin, damn dime, a pity penny. All right, two dragon riders and two securlitans. All right, I'm gonna throw out Ooh. hot gas. Bernico's mustering. I guess. Nice hit. Got him. I definitely 
save up. Save up, heal up. I'll save up. Oof. Rush was dead. Oh, damn. Hello there, my friends. It is I, the Maharashi. Back from hell to tell you it really sucks down here, so stop being such horrible chuds. There you go. <laughs> Understandable. You gotta know when it's time to... to Step back, right? All right, Dragon Riders. By the way, how cool is the Dragon Rider sprite, though? Fucking cool. Yeah, they're good, right? They put the exact amount of cream cheese icing that I like. A lot. Boom, boom, boom. Love me a good cheese danish. And those Sam's Club ones are so good. Alright, Ternico's level 27. It's so weird how fast Ternico levels up compared to everybody else. Alright, I think we gotta head over this way. Hmm. That might be- oh, no. That's exactly where we wanted to go. There it is, the Zenithian armor. We didn't even have a lead on that, I just knew it was here. So. I think there is an NPC that tells you where the Zenithian armor is, but yeah. I mean, it's like, this is obvious big fuck off cave right north of the mini metal guy. Like, you're gonna check it out at some point, right? All right let's get that appraised, because that's always amusing. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what this is. It is part of the legendary Zenithian kit. The more I look at it, the more amazing it seems. It saves your man from physical damage and spells alike. It goes without saying, I suppose, that only a great hero such as yourself can use it. And I'm guessing it'd be too far too dear for a normal shop to try it in. Alright, let's equip that. That just leaves the sword. Right, because we have the helmet, right? Let me look. Uh, we have the shield, the armor, and the helm, so we need the sword. Hmm. Mini metal. Miniature medallion. A minimalistic, medallionic, artisanal piece. A fucking coin, a damn dime, a petty penny. Hmm. Chicken Florentine, nice. I have no idea what we're doing for dinner. It, it'll be food of some sort. Figure it out, right? Actually, I think I just evac out of here, right? Because I'm done here. Alright. Hold on one second. It is the strongest for that particular character. There's occasional stuff that's better, but you give it to the other characters, you know? Alright, so... Um, we should probably go to Mentos. Because we gotta start the town building part. The boom town. Shredded cheddar and Taco Bell hot sauce. And it's, that sounds good. Which which Taco Bell hot sauce is your favorite, by the way? I like the, the one, the black packet one. I think it's called Inferno sauce. Because it's got, not only does it got heat, but it's got that smokiness to it. Diablo, is that what it is, Diablo sauce, or is it Inferno? I mean, the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, no, the one I'm thinking of is Diablo. Yeah, Diablo. Oh, the one that's hot? Okay. 
Because they, they used to... Have, they, they have, like, mild, medium, hot, fire, Diablo, and volcano. Yeah, Diablo is the one that I like. All right. Uh, where's our mans? Let's see. Conrad Hilton used to be an adventurer back in his day. He collected all sorts of treasures, then made a fortune by selling them off. He's the best businessman in the world, I reckon. The volcano sauce is weird. It's what the, it's the sauce they put in the quesadillas. It's like cheesy and hot. It's good though. Yeah, I wish I could just buy a bottle of Inferno sauce, but I never see it in the. Yeah. I came across that treasure map when I was a nipper, but I never did figure out where the treasure was. I reckon you got a good chance of finding it though. Give it a go, Solo. All right, now where is the guy? Because it should be at the point where we should be uh, able to build the town. Is he up here somewhere? Oh, the, yeah. Uh, I think they're dickish enough to call it Salsa Verde, even though it's not Salsa Verde. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's the Salsa Verde sauce. Have you heard about that cosmopolitan town full of people from all different parts of the world? That's what I'm looking for. I bet you can find some rare and sought-after items in a place like that, eh? Yeah, where is it? I forget how that works. Might be able to find that on the map. I had a bash at old Hilton's test, you know? I still haven't figured out the answer, though. I really want that treasure map and all. The green one seems to be seasonal. All right, welcome to Mintos. No doubt you're here to see the famous Conrad Hilton, eh? People come from all over the world to hear his lecture. He's a hero of traders everywhere. That bloke who was here before went off to set up his own town or such like that. Yeah, all right. What was his name again? Uh, Offman it was. All right, where is the town? All right, let me just study the map and see if I can find out where it is. Because we're in, we're in Mintos right now. Um... There's Parthenia, Diablicol, the Colossus, El Ferrado, Imperial Pantry. So he set up the town, I just don't know where it is. Shit. And it's not on the map. Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. It's where the Desert Bazaar was, right? Um, that's sort of like kind of near... Um, it's near Zamoskva, isn't it? Where is that on the map? Yeah. Okay. All right, no problem. We can get there. Oh, you know what I got to do? I forgot. Uh, let me zoom back to Rose Hill. There was equipment I wanted there. An antenna to your car and told the cops to soon you outranked them. I mean, you never know. <laughs> Something like that could work. That's ridiculous. I love it. So let's see. So what was it that I wanted here? The Dragon's Bane. Um, I'll probably just get one, because Solo's going to use the Zenithian Sword anyway. There's not much point in buying one for him as well. But I can't quite afford it. Let's see if I can sell some stuff to... Yeah, I can sell the Spiked Armor now. That's pretty expensive. That gives me almost enough. Very close. Uh, I don't want to sell the Prayer Ring. I like to hang on to those. Then again, I always hang on to them and never use them, so maybe I should just fucking sell it. Like, wow, that guy's got five antennas. He must be a captain or something. <laughs> All right, so look at the dragon's bane for uh, rag for uh, uh, for Ragnar. All right. Cause like I said, you can get one for Solo, but like I said, once he gets the Zenithian sword, you know, sell the Dreamblade. I want to be able to get some armor. All 
All right, so what I was looking for was, yeah, Dragon Mail. Um, for Ragnar, specifically. I've never been to a Chi-Chi's or even seen one in the wild, to be honest with you. All right. Let me sell, sell that. Chi-Chi's is awful, damn. They're dead now? That makes sense. If it's as bad as Maddox says, right? I'd also wanted a magic vestment for, uh, for Kirill. Let's get that. They were a big deal? Are you sure they were a big deal? Alright, sell his iron armor. Alright, we're done here. Alright, let's head to, um, the guy's town, the boom town. <laughs> Since now I remember where it is. They had a hepatitis scandal? Really? Holy shit. That's wacky. At a restaurant? That's the worst thing that you could hear, almost. I think, like, what else is on that par with that? Like, they, uh, human flesh? Right? Barracudas. Oh, barracuda. The one chain restaurant that I remember from my childhood that's no longer around was the Ponderosa Steakhouse. Gib, stop it. Gibbs! Get out of here now. Can't be licking my feet. I'm not into that shit. My name's not Quentin Tarantino. I'm not from Oklahoma. Get the fuck out of here. Hepatitis is W, because that one Waffle House is just that nasty. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I remember the Green Onions issue happening uh, with Taco Bell, actually, and it was, uh, it wasn't a hepatitis scare. It was, um, like E. coli or something. It ruined the zesty nachos in the Pittsburgh area. Oh. Western PA, or like Eastern Ohio. Yeah, Ponderosa ain't been around for a while. Here it is. You can see there's not much going on here. Howdy, y'all. It's been a while, ain't it? It's me, Hank Hoffman Jr., remember? I done finished my apprenticeship with Old Ilt, and now I'm setting up shop by myself. I figured I might as well follow in the fo old coot's footsteps and set me up a boom town like dear old Mintos. But I can't very well just make a town out in this here wilderness all by my lonesome now, can I? Which is why I thought I might ask a globe-trotting varmint's a little favor. Can y'all get out there and find some folks with itchy feet and tell them about the newest town in town? I seem to recall hearing about someone who was just itching for a new life hanging around in the church down there in little old laissez-faire. If we can get us together a sizable crowd in this here prairie, this, this is a desert, sir, we'll be able to vi build us a mighty fine metropolis in no time flat. I feel like I'm leaning into the mic too much. All right, laissez-faire. I mostly remember Ponderosa for their epic fucking salad bar. Jesus Christ. That's terrible. That'll definitely kill a restaurant chain, though. That kind of scandal. That's crazy. Peace be with you. I am an internet, internet run nun. I set out from my motherland to aid those in need of any way I could. If I could find myself a fledgling settlement somewhere, I am sure I could be of great use to its inhabitants. Do you want to talk about Hank Hoffman Jr.'s frontier town? I sure do. So this Mr. Hoffman is establishing a town of his own? My humblest thanks. I shall make way there forthwith. Fuck microphones. Get a microphone? Pick up every thump of Gibbs' tail from across the house? I mean, I think this microphone already kind of does that, right? There are actually a few Ponderosa locations left. That's wacky. Uh, it must be like privately owned ones, right? Can I zoom to the town? I don't think I can. No. It's all right. I don't mind sailing. I guess that's like kind of how like there's still a few Kmart's, right? Um. Well, Howard Johnson's is a hotel, so no. Uh, there's a Howard Johnson's not too far from here. Uh, actually, I had been in there. 
not not to stay or anything, but it was for like an interview. We got Stranglerfish. The important thing about building the town is there's a couple of mini metals that are only appear at certain points of the town's uh, progression. So you want to make sure that you don't miss out on those. Howard Johnson. Howdy there. I've been waiting for y'all to come on by. I just been shooting the breeze without their sister you done send down your solo. And there's a few folks in town I done invited myself too. Looks like this place has finally started to get a hustling and a bustling. But it still ain't nothing much more than a cow shed and an outhouse right about now. You just gotta help me bring in on the folks of flocking into town now, solo. And I done thought of a perfect way to get him down here too. But I can't very well stand around here and tell you all about it. Drop on by my little house on the prairie when you get yourself a minute. Ha <laughs> references. I've done built me a little place just nearby. Y'all come on by when there and we'll have us a little talk about it. I need me a little while to make ready for y'all, so you just have a mosey around town in the meantime. See y'all in a little while. Uh. Peace be with you. I'm a wandering nun. My heartfelt thanks go to you for teaching me of this place. I have consulted with Mr. Hoffman and he agrees that I should help you to the best of my ability. I believe I can be most used to you at Mr. Hoffman's house, so I shall retire there and await your orders. Please, take your time to relax and enjoy yourselves. Goddess be with you. I ate at Arthur Treacher's once. I thought it was pretty good. Surprised they're completely gone almost. Smashy, smashy, and we got a mini medal. Mm. You there, have you heard? Uh, uh, yes. But I haven't even told you anything yet. <laughs> Fine, whatever. All right, let me say no. No. This is a new town, followed by, founded by a visionary fellow by the name of Hoffman. I'm new around here, too, but they let me set up a little sh little shop. It was a fish and chips joint. It wasn't bad. Oh, goodness me. I know it's sad that the sleepy fox seldom has feathered breakfast, but is not also true that one slumber invites another? I feel as if I've awoken from a slumber of 1,001 years. Oh, good day, and who might you be? Solo and esteemed companions, I am most honored to make your acquaintance. I am but a simple frog, who has by chance learned the language of humankind. Raxus? I've never heard of that one. Were you aware of the rumor that a magnificent castle once stood upon this very spot? No, I'm not. Oh yes, there surely was once a kingdom whose fortune was built on trade with distant lands. But now it is more, it is no more than the arid expanse you see before you. But you youngsters are aiding in the efforts to restore this humble hamlet to its former magnificence, are you not? I do little but while away my days in idleness here by this pond. Pray come and speak to me again when the town is further restored. Ribbit. Hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hoffman invited me and my lady Adrian to move to- Oh, 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 oh. Rocky and Adrian. Hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hoffman invited me and my lady Adrian to move down here from the big city to start us a new life. All I gotta do is work hard and our dreams will come true. All I want is for Adrian to be happy. Yo, Adrian! Smashy, smashy. Ah, oh, I got a bunny tail. <laughs> I gotta appraise it, right? It raises your luck. It's good for Elena to wear. So. Hmm. Just some kind of accessory. It's supposed to protect you alike, but if the truth be told, it's nothing more than a decoration. Ah, you could slip it on and see if you're waiting to try something a bit different, I suppose. Anyone else, because myself included, I'd fetch about 172 gold coins if you sold it in a shop. Just pop it over to her, because it, it, it does the most good with her. Honestly, I've never even heard of Rax. <laughs> that darn Rocky. From morning till night, he's out there in the field, slaving away. Here we are, newly married. And we're straight into the hard life. I guess it's his nature. He always was a fighter. Smashy, smashy, and a middle middle. You never know what he might be into. 
All right, let's go find Hoffman. Sola reads the sign. The pioneer and Dunn got. <laughs> the pioneer and Dunn gone got started. Jesus. Sounds like they've done everything, huh? Just throwing spaghetti against the wall. The beauty of this the garden sets my mind at peace. I pray that I can be of use to you in some way. And. I, oh, you know what? I haven't saved it in a bit, so. Very troubling amount of money I have right now. Yeesh. Well, I hope uh, Riddle's okay over there in Oklahoma. <laughs> well, if it ain't little old Solo, I just gone finished getting everything ready. Well, all right then. First thing we got to do is give the place a kind of name that'll get folks flocking here like flies on fertilizer. I done had a few ideas myself, but I just can't settle on one for certain. Tell you what, y'all have been helping me get the place together and all. How's about I let you decide? I'll rattle off a couple of my ideas, and you can tell me which one you like the best. Here goes. Okay, well, first off, I thought about Solo Town. It's a mighty pretty name, ain't it? No, it's terrible. Well, I guess that ain't the excitingest I ever did here. Okay, try this next one for size. How's about Solosville? It's a name for yourself there, Solo. How about it? Nah, it's terrible. Well, I thought as much. I knew you wouldn't be keen, none too keen on that one, so I saved the best till the very last. Here it goes. How about St. Solosburg? Not bad, huh? I'm mighty proud of that one. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. You're kidding. You actually like St. Solosburg? I never thought you'd go far for that one. Well, I'm much obliged. All right, then. We'll name our little old township St. Solosburg. Agreed? Sure. Well, that's good, at least. All right, we got ourselves a town name. Now let's get down to the real business at hand. Truth of the matter is, I've been having me some chance encounters. Oh, this shit with the Wi-Fi. I done me some reading on some mighty old books, thinking I might find myself stuff us pioneers could make good use of. Seems that out there in the big old world, there's plenty of folks on the same quest as y'all are. Chance encounters is about grabbing a hold of them folks, shooting the breeze, learning a thing or two, and making new partners while you're at it. And if we can send a few folks over and bring a few folks back from other places, our town will, here will be the benefit, and no mistake. So what do you say? You reckon you might want to pick a pioneer in Seoul to send off amb ambassadoring? No. You wouldn't, huh? Well, I guess I... Th this is the multiplayer aspect. Well, I guess I can't very well make you do now, can I? If you ever get changing your mind, just c you come and holler. All right, well, what about, like, actual people to, um recruit from the world, not from other people's games. This ain't helpful. I'm pretty sure you can grow the town without the multiplayer aspect, you know? <laughs> um, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find where the uh, people are. Mm -mm. Oh, you do have to do it. Well, maybe... I hope it doesn't try to connect to some nebulous Wi-Fi that doesn't exist. I don't think you actually have to get chance encounters, but I don't care, 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 I don't care. Yeah, this guy, it don't matter. Yes. Uh. Yeah, genderless. Uh, and they're in their 80s. And their hobby is... Eating out women. 
<laughs> All right, what are the words of great and ass here? <laughs> um, nobody's gonna ever see this because I'm not connected to the service that doesn't exist anymore. Cram it. <laughs> All right. So as long as you have, hey, ass, get your sorry carcass down here right now. Oh god! Ass. Oh. Alright, so as long as you select somebody and you have the ultimate key, that should move the town to stage two. Well, it's looking much the same right now. It says it's triggered by selecting a pioneer for chance encounter and obtaining the ultimate key. Talk to Rocky and head to the church and bur Oh, okay, okay. Rocky tells you about the next person. Okay. Yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come here, come here. Get, get, get your... Get your... Come here, come here. No, 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 no. You cannot... Hey, I got a headache. You can't bark. You can't do that either. I'm sorry, but you can't do it. Come here. I don't care that your brother's wildin' out. You can just chill. Yo, Rocky. Yo, Adrian. Gunny, that's enough! Hey, yo, Gibbs! Bad boy. Yeah, hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hey, some traveling salesman comes out of nowhere the other day and starts telling me about this guy. Says he sits uh, around in the church down there in Berlin talking about how he wants to start himself a new life somewhere else. Gibbs! Bad boy. No, you're bad. Get down. <laughs> Alright, Berlin. You have to go to Berlin, huh? Alright, uh, where is Berlin? Here it is. You better not. Oh, are you there? Give me a travel unless I'm much mistaken. So have you heard tell of this fabulous new city of plunder and wonder? I've been itching away anchor and set sail for new shores, so I have. Alright, we'll tell him about it. Ah, you're me anchor, me anchor. Such a place really does exist. I'll set a me course for that there town right away. But shiver me timbers, I've forgotten I've got a shipmate in tow. I the labber should be down there in the inn. But you might pass along the glad tidings. Where's the goddamn man? No. Oh. Nah, not not making that. So this is the end. It's just not marked. That's not the end. Is it this? Yeah, it is. Howdy there, hound dog. <laughs> Howdy there, hound dog. I'm Prelvis and Esley, and I've been traveling the little world with a companion of mine. But lately, I've been getting tired of this old traveling game. I'm hankering for a little less navigating, a little less action. What an asshole. St. Solosburg, huh? You know, they say any place is paradise, but that sounds mighty fine to me. I'll grab my traveling buddy and head on down there. Oh, thank you very much. What a schmuck. Are you getting into trouble? Stop it. You're being rude. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, there's no, unfortunately, no way to warp to the place, but we can, we'll have to sail there. He's looking for his fried pill sandwiches. Mmm. Bananas, mm, peanut butter, bacon, and quaaludes. What style of town did you go with for Dragon Quest 7? What do you mean, what style? I got a Malrus. Oh, I'll look right now. Oh, the popper. 
He's got his little blanket. That's adorable. Are you talking about the monster town in Dragon Quest VII? Because I never bothered. Yeah, but I don't know what you mean. Go. What town did I go with in Seven? I never bothered building the monster town, if that's what you're talking about. It's a big waste of time. Ultraviolet rays. Like this, I'm doing it for a reason, you know? In Dragon Quest Three, you do it for a reason, but in Seven, I couldn't care less. Cocoon goons. Ah. Cocoon goons. <laughs> yep, it's built up. How do their hound dog? I'm probably says Leona. Spend my days traveling this little world and spreading the joy song. This here's the finest little boom town in all the world. Viva Saint Solosburg. So many references to Elvis songs and everything he says. There ain't no suspicious minds around these parts, just proud pioneers making an honest living. It fair fills my heart with song just to be here. Okay, but what are you but what are you talking about? What style of town did you go for? What does that have to do with the, the petrified people? You know what I'm saying? Like you're not. Like, making a lot of sense right now. Hmm, mini metal. Now, by the way, if you don't get the mini metals in stage one, they're gone. So you have to make sure you get every middle metal, any, every mini metal every time the town upgrades. Come on, here we go. Another mini metal. Okay. An antidotal herb. I uh, see the result. I don't remember that aspect of Dragon Quest Seven at all, and it ain't been that long since I played it, to be honest with you. But like I said, I've never bothered with any of the town building stuff in 7 because it's a giant waste of time. Smashy smashy. I can't figure out why, but lately Adrian don't seem too good. I sure I have done nothing to upset her. She's pregnant. I told you I don't want to talk to you right now. Huh? Oh, sorry, I thought you were Rocky. Guys just don't get it, do they? Where's the frog at? Oh, he's still right there. Great merchants once sold a veritable treasure trove of rare artifacts at the castle that stood in this place. That's the wrong spelling of artifacts. That's a different word. And not only that, envoys from different lands also brought great offerings to present it to the castle's inhabitants. It's Baharol, yeah. If this town were to develop a, into a mighty castle also, wondrous shops and splendid treasures too might appear. I look forward to such a felicitous day. <laughs> okay, um... I just had a thought. <laughs> There's a room in Endor I didn't go into, and I should do that now. Ow, Gibbs! God! Watch the damn claws. And then I gotta look into... How to move the town forward in another stage. Let's see. Uh, not till we kill S. Dark. Okay. <laughs> Gives us being a schmuck. I just remember there is a. I think up in here.
but she's standing in the way. I say, I must ask you to take your leave. This is the royal dressing room. Um, how do I get in there? Maybe at night. I'll try that. There's a way to get in there, I just don't remember what it is. Oh, damn it. Who has the night light? I think you have it. I gotta sneak in. Okay. Alright. Yeah, the king is in there. He doesn't have a bed, if you notice. See, there's the princess, and there's the prince. They got married, and he's like, where do I sleep? I never imagined for one minute the princess would be wed so soon. Now I seem to be without a sleeping chamber all of a sudden. <laughs> Do it, have one built. You're the fucking king. Ooh, la la, fishnet stockings. He sleeps on the floor. He sleeps in the kitchen like every mom in Pokemon games, right? Wait, where'd they go? This is gonna be funny. Oh, my hat's a pair of... Well, these are a very grown-up item now, aren't they just... I'm sure I don't need to tell you that these are for the ladies now, do I? Maya, Elena, and Mina can be equipped with it. Me? Get away with you, I'm a fella. Ask stupid questions like that, and I might do stupid things, though. So be warned. <laughs> can you imagine? Tornico with the fishnet stocks. Uh, what do they actually do, though? Oh, they're for defense? Uh, I might give them to Well, you know, you have the ruby protection, which is better. You have the bunny tail for luck. I'm gonna give it to Mom, uh, Mina. He sits in the chair facing the bed that's in every motel room. Oh yes, the cock chair, of course. All right, another pink leotard. Uh, well, we don't need it. I already bought a bunch at that other town. So. Hmm, mini metal. I might have enough for a prize, too. And a feathered cap that's, like, completely fucking useless at this point in the game. Alright, so... Um... What am I doing? Not that. 32 mini medals. That's more than enough to get a prize. Let's go to Minikin's Domain. Can't forget about the cuck chair, right? That's fine. I'll leave. Sup, son. Alright, so for 25, he gives me a magical skirt. And for 30, he gives me a staff of divine wrath. So the next is 34, he'll give me a Kerplunk Bracer. Let's see. This is the magical skirt. I'm not officially an expert, but this is a fine looking skirt if you ask me. You wouldn't know what to look at it, but it's designed for members of the clergy. But that shouldn't stop a fashionable young one from having a bash at wearing it. Maya, Elena, and Mina can be equipped with it. I suppose I could just go... I could just about get into it if I tr... What? You'll have nightmares? Well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he says you'll have nightmares? Well, fuck off. Uh, it's pretty good armor. I'm gonna give it to Maya. The chair was bolted to the floor, so it was forced to be... Oh my god. 
the enforced cuck chair, huh? And then we got the Staff of Divine Wrath. Let's kind of praise that. Now here is a sound stick. I'm told it has some intriguing effects when you use it like an item in battle. Kirill and Mina can be equipped with it. It doesn't look like I'd equip myself with it. All right. So, oh, Kirill and Mina, huh? Oh, whoa, 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 I'm not trying to leave. All right. Oh, God. Well, they're down here. Uh, I'll give it to her. Put a quarter in the TV. <laughs> Did it have magic fingers? <laughs> oh, my. All right. So I I guess the thing is to get the um the mod rod. You know. So looking at the map, I believe it's um It's it's near Rose Hill, I believe. Yeah, I'm just gonna head over there. It's not too far from here. All right, three Spitfires. Actually, you know what? This isn't where the mod rod is, I don't think. I mean, I will have to go in there, but... Where is this place? Pharos Beacon. It's the Royal Crypt that I want to go to, but it's not like marked on the map. I do want to go there eventually, but that's not where I'm trying to go. It's near Endor, right? Yeah, I think that's where it is. Yeah, I see it. I see it on the map, actually. All right, let me just warp to Endor. I was just there, too. There it is, that's what I'm going for. Yep. You can get in here as long as you have the ultimate key. Arena? Oh dear. That sounds exciting, I think. <laughs> A staff of anti magic. It's a staff that can seal away the magic of your opponents when you use it as an item in battle. But that's not all it does. If you attack with it, I heard it can restore your magic power too. Maya can be equipped with it. Doesn't look like I'd equip myself with it. Oh no, let me take a look. The Cuck Arena. It's a Cuck Nook. Alright. Um, it's not as good as the Magma Staff, but I'll have her hold on to it. Well, let me see where this goes, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. Hold on, now. Okay. But I'm not done in that area. Let me go back. Gangbang participants waiting arena. 
It could be either way. We got a Terror Flyer. Alright, so he's dazzled. He got undazzled pretty quickly, but he's also dead pretty quickly. Oh, no! I was trying to get that damn treasure chest. Alice, you should send that to A to see what their uh, assessment is. I right, got voodoo gurus. Ah, clowns! Oh, don't do that. Good thing it didn't work. Ooh, he stole something. Tornico stole a chest. I'll have to see what that is. That's another reason you want to always make sure he has an open spot in his inventory, because he won't steal if he doesn't have an open spot in his, inv is in his inventory. Wait, did he just steal a fucking Staff of Salvation? That's amazing. Hey, well, this is a queer stick, to be sure. Bruh. It can bring your lads back to life if you use it as an item in battle. He doesn't look like I can equip myself with it. I don't think anybody can equip it. Uh, it's just, it's used as a tool to use the Zing spell. It's usually called a Zing stick, but in this game it's Staff of Salvation. Mmm, a mini medal! That's true. All right, we got Spitfires, two and two, and uh, no reason to worry because we got a free round. Ooh, we stole something again. Polycule holding pattern space. <laughs> oh, we got a holding pattern. All right, so that's Maya hitting level 26. Very cool. Let's see what I got. A Cloak of Evasion? Whatever. All right. Now let's head through here. <laughs> Hopefully we run into some liquid metal slimes, because that's kind of the big deal about coming here. Oh, uh, but... Hmm. I have to find my way over there. Maybe I can go further along this way, or...? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that's what I gotta do. The fifth wheel? Oh dear. Alright, two voodoo gurus, two bloody blades, and a spitfire. I'm gonna have you throw out... Uh, boom. I'm looking. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me see something. Okay. Oof. Twice in a row? Well, good thing you ran out of magic, you big bitch. That's a win. <laughs> Such a weird dungeon. I believe this is just a heal spot. So just get all your magic and health back. All right, we got a Voodoo Guru and two Humbabas. Bastard. What an attack animation that first one did, huh? He's stuck in trouble. Oh, come on, I want to see the storm. Oh, man. Hmm. All right, a Spitfire and two Humbabas. And it's a free round. Still going to throw out a spell. Not that. Oh, 
Bam! Alright, Bloody Blades, three of them. Dude, damn. Bro, chill. Mod Rod, that's what we came here for. It's the Mod Rod, Moderate Rodney. Hmm. There's a staff show already, but not one you can get yourself out with in battle. I can tell you what it does, but it'd be far easier if you just gave it to try yourself. You'd most likely be getting out of your way and be using it all the time. And if you did happen to want to sell it, you'd I think he'd be out of luck. No trader would give you a price for it. That's definitely something I want to put in the bag. All right. We can now get into Diabolic Hall. There's just one more thing I want to check before I get out of here. All right, we got a Bloody Blade. And then we're going to end stream. All right, Solo's level 25. And learn Zap. It's our first lightning spell. Nope. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get out of this. Oh, no, not today. Try again. God damn it. I guess we fighting. Before Tornico gets killed here. Uh, I might want to use Crackle. Oh, she doesn't have Crackle, does she? No. Sizzle. Ah, damn, she's down. Can I please get out of this battle? No, I can't. I just killed him. I could get her back with the, the Zing Stick. Actually, no, I think I have to use that in battle. But let me heal up first. Who's holding the, the, the stick? The Zing Stick. Or whatever the hell it's called. Uh... Oh, Tornico has it. All right. Last thing I want to do is go. Oh no! Oh no! I'm done. Never mind. Oh what? Oh god! All right. Well, I gotta have you use the zing stick or staff of salvation. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is where we save. The liquid metal slimes, baby. Now oh, he's sticking around. As long as one stays around, I'm fine. Tornico, you were supposed to use the fucking item that I told you to use, not do that. Save it again. Alright, no, 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 no. pissing me off. Oh, come on, man. Really? Alright, fuck it. Whatever. I'm just trying to end stream, so... Tornico, I'm telling you to use an item. Use the fucking item. Oh, that's the wrong item. Alright, who has it then? No wonder it ain't working. Who has it? Alright. Maya might be holding it, actually. 
What do you expect of highly carbonated masses of Quicksilver? You're right, though. Alright, Ragnar leveled up. Yeah, I think Maya's holding it, actually. No, she's not. Where is it? Staff of Sal I thought it was the Staff of Salvation, but apparently it's not. It's one of the other characters. I think one of the other. Oh, let me just get out of here. I'll get out of here. It doesn't matter. I can have Mina revive them. No, RNG is actually based on what frame you put the last input on. Oh, that's the wrong spell. I was just getting unlucky and ran out of patience because I'm trying to end stream. All right, um, we actually are supposed to head to the um, Diabolic Hall, but there's actually a town over here that I haven't been to that I want to go to, and that's where I'll end it. No, it's actually in the very last frame. Here it is. I forget what this place is called. We'll find out next time, right? Nah, I'll find out now. This here be Dunplundrin, are. All right. Is there a church in Dunplundrin? There isn't. Oh. Fuck. Well, let me get the thing I came here for. That's not what it was, but... Hmm. Mini metal. That's what I came here for. Alright. I mean, they have, like, equipment and stuff, but... I don't think it's anything good. I think the weapon shop's open at night. Yeah, there's nothing I want there. They don't have a church? Unless this is secretly a church. Ah, oh, it's an inn. I'm just looking for a place to hard save. Alright, what the fuck? I'll go to fucking... Doesn't matter. I'll go to Endor. And we'll go over schedule and we'll do a raid. So guys, thank you for coming by. This is a very fun stream. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet, because we are going to be doing a raid, and I'd like you to stick around for that. Most presidents don't, right? It's kind of not that common. Okay. And I'll also make a save state. And next time, we're going to sneak into Diabolic Hall as a monster. And uh, see what the hell Pizarro's up to, right? Learn about Estark and with the Lord Estark, of course, being the Lord of the Underworld. All right, guys. All right, so we're gonna go with the schedule here. Uh, I guess we could hide that. So here's what's going on. Tomorrow night, I will be live playing some Suikoden Five for the Get Off Me Gibbs for the PlayStation Two. Sunday night, more East Eight Lacrimosa of Donna for Steam. Monday afternoon, the last bit of Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers for Arcade. And then we'll be starting Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, also for Arcade. Gibbs, get off of me. Tuesday night, more Rogue Legacy for Steam. Wednesday afternoon, more Pokemon Diamond version for the DS. Thursday night, possibly the end of Eternal Felina. We do seem to be nearing the end of it. Uh, I don't know how much more there is, but uh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Damn. And uh, Friday afternoon, a week from today, we'll be right back here with more Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen. So let's go over here and see what we have online that we could raid. I gotta lay down. My head is fucking pounding right now. How about Cloudy Medusa? I haven't raided her in a bit. She's playing Luigi's Mansion. That's what we gonna do. That's what we gonna do. Ugh. Doing a really generic Dickles the Bee thing. It seems to be, uh... Okay, so there's your raid call. Copy it, paste it as we head into Cloudy Medusa's stream. She is playing Luigi's Mansion. Looks like OG GameCube version. 
Uh, so I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys on Discord. I'll see you guys uh, 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 tomorrow for so we get in and just around in general. Then I'm gonna lay down for a bit. Away we go.